All right, let's do it. Let's go live. Is every does everyone have their characters ready and all that good stuff? Well, not ready no, yet, but I'll be ready soon. soon. Okay, that's no problem. We got. I guess we got to like bring everything up to speed, anyways. No, I was kidding. What the fuck was that? What What do we have to bring up to speed? What the hell? What? what? No, what I just I just found I just heard something like falling in my walls. <laughs> what? Well, the it's either it's either a certain somebody breaking into the wall or it's the squirrels on top of your roof. I really Squirrel. doubt squirrels would be in my roof. Squirrel. Then you have to worry because it's the other person breaking your wall. Oh my god, Satan's in the other room? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Man, Hello, yes, everyone. I don't want to make that joke. Stan feels like I you've will. been ignoring him too much. It's okay. He Hen, oh, Hen you're a nerd. That. What? Nothing. Right. Hello, everyone. If you guys are uh, watching, we have... Yeah, say say hi to everyone on there. We are Hi, currently everyone. live. Is there, who's here? Uh, there's Hi, like, at A. It looks like a good 10 or 15 people. The man who speaks with... Here, I'll pop, I'll pop out the viewer list. Oh, you can't... Oh. And I'll go to my so dashboard. Got the viewer list only pops what it out in the to, window. What do we have to get up, caught up with? Just... Bop. Really, bro? Ring, 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 ring. Ring, Put bring, it on bring. silent, bring, sir? Bring, bring. Put it on silent. Jesus. That's a home phone. You can't put a home phone on silent. Then turn it off. Hey, ban Hensoid. Ban Hensoid. He turn off it. the headset. That seems like fair punishment. All right, then we have to mute him. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mute him. <laughs> yeah, fuck Carl. Can okay. Okay. Can't really mute him, but I can hang up on him. But then uh, that screws okay. with the overlay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, the dashboard shows me stats and everything. All right, sweet. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so, um... Welcome to, so welcome to yeah. everything that is currently happening in DNC. Uh, so, what happened when we la la last left off? Uh, something, something about a sheep. No, we finished we, the sheep. We fought the, uh... We fought the bed. We killed a bed. That's, we right. Bed That's right. We killed a bed. We, we fought the bed. wizard guy. Yeah, uh, we saved the sheep. Oh, and sorry. Now he's going to. We got bags of holding, and now he's going to. Chain, give me some kind of staff wand thing. Who uh, was the per the other person? Oh, it was Halo. Had his. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a house. He's getting a house. house bag of holding. <laughs> getting a portable house. <laughs> he's literally just a house. There's just a house sitting there. <laughs> okay. And then and now, I don't know. Okay. I didn't think I didn't think about that when I made when I like multi class my character that there's no time mm. that's like changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we did kind of like this is pretty much just gonna start afterwards. I guess like after a long rest or whatever, so everyone's you know reset and ready to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Uh, so uh, can everyone hear all of a sudden? Like you guys were saying, you couldn't hear the rest of them. I guess put the audio back up. Okay, hopefully wow, you Halo can... is even sexier than I imagined. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, uh, so what happened was, what the fuck was this wizard's name? Fine Thier, I think. Yeah. Okay. You so, write this down. No, I did have it right down. I'm just trying to look for the file. No, I do. Oh, I have like thirty fucking things open. Uh, okay. So, sure. what happened was the party, the party beat Noak, Master Noak, the, um, the sheep wizard's apprentice, who went kind of mad with power and polymorph things, and now he will do tr fifth level transmutations for everyone. Um, currently of no charge. We'll see if that happens later on. And now yes. you, you have just been uh, put in his tower. He has fixed it up and it is ready to go. He said, he says, uh, for the time being, you can use this as a base of operations if you want. Uh, I, I do get quite lonely, and I just don't want to turn into a sheep again, honestly. So, we'll, uh, I'll let you, you stay have here. polymorph. No. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. No, oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, pretty much, uh, the, the adventure was complete. You guys have beaten the bed dragon and all that good stuff. Yeah. And after a nice long rest into the morning, find there is <laughs> scurrying around in his tower. Oh, and whatnot. you should say that we leveled up. What? Just let them know. Why would you? Yeah. Well, well you we literally just up. did that, so we're fine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. They they did level oh. up every. Our party is currently at sixth level. And I made a I made a druid necromancer, and I love it. Okay. Wait, uh, I, don't, I didn't do that. Ouch. Imagine a fucking. Not, what, what, imagine what a minotaur necromancer. That'd be horrifying. Uh, Why did you not? Oh my god. Up? Yeah. Think about that. <laughs> Why so, did you not level up? I, mean, I don't know. Le well, then level up while we're doing this, then. Okay. Good. Keep yeah. going, dungeon, dungeon lord. Okay, so you dungeon guys, just, you guys just wake up from the from Fine Thier's, uh per He has a uh, guest quarters in the tower. Is someone beatboxing? What, what, what's going on? <laughs> what, uh, what's going on? I'm confused. Okay, so you guys have pretty much just got done with your long rest, and okay. Jesus Christ, what are you guys doing on chat? I have no idea. Carl, Carl posted a picture that he, uh, oh, he did. Oh, okay. I was, I was wondering what's going on there. I made this last time you streamed this since I couldn't. Just... I'm Mr. T! <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just box art of Halo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Get, get the, uh, the fat World of Warcraft player from uh, South Park. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just a squidling from Splatoon. That's fine. And what <laughs> is Hen even? Like a cow Nazi? Yeah, he's a Nazi cow. Cow Nazi. I mean, he's that, a Nazi that does cow. sound like cow, uh, like Hen. <laughs> <laughs> Stop distracting us, Carl. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, we're trying to do things. And I can't read anything you post in messages, FYI. It'll mess everything up. Um, so, you guys just woke up. You are in the tower. Uh, there is a... In the tower, you guys can all feel a little bit of electricity at the back of your neck. It is a place brimming with magical power, and you can kind of hear uh, Feinthir just diddling about doing his things, just making more spells, enchantments, and whatnot. And you guys are you guys are in the tower in this nice little opening in the forest. So, you guy, you are good. You guys can go. Can I go see if what he did with my uh, wand staff? Go for thing? it. I want to go. I want to see. Okay. So as you, so as you walk up to Fine Thier, he um he sits there. Oh oh, thank you. Okay, you woke up. Got good good good. And he uh he runs back for a second. And he scurries around and he uh, he throws a few things around and then he comes back with this big staff. And it's it's about a good five feet long. And on either end it has these. Uh, you can see he he put a bunch of time into this. And he on either end there's these large bulbous almost hive looking things on it. And then. Right below it is two hand grips, so you can have it to use as a um, as a walking staff if you want. Okay. Says, oh, this this is for you. This is for you. Here, here, take it. And he hands you this uh, this nice staff. Ooh, can I nice. do a Arcana check to see what it is? If you'd like, yes. Uh, a D20. Uh, roll. Yeah, go a D20. D20. User plus plus. I have. I don't care plus what you six. have. I don't care uh, what you five. have. Okay. So it's, yeah. So we'll get so rolled. Oh, right. I'm sorry. We're using the squidly thing. Yeah, um, so it's 14. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so you so you notice that, you, you notice it is a uh, staff shimmering. It looks like it has a bunch of power crackling in it. You're not too sure if it's electricity or if it's just arcane power. Uh, you mm -hmm. can, you can hear a tiny bit of, what seems to be buzzing on both ends of the staff. Do and I have a bug staff? Possibly. You, you'll have to actually use it. You did say it. they were hive-like. You will have to use oh, it to God. find out. Okay, I use I, it immediately. I, if, do you uh, really want to? Uh, <laughs> I mean... I use it go ahead, use it. You're gonna die. Okay, well, uh, let's see. I need to, I need to look up this spell thing real quick. Okay. I want to see what it oh. is. He's, Would you do, right, right as Right as you're about to swing, he goes, no, no, no. At least do that outside. I, I, I cannot have handle more of my t uh, house being eaten up. Please, just if oh. you're going to do something, go outside with it. Okay, I go outside immediately yeah. and use it. Yeah, yeah, put that away. <laughs> All right, um, if you want to. Um, as you, By the way, Hen, Hen, check chat. That's for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I was helping him level. Keep going. Oh, okay. So as you you sit there and you kind of swing the staff around and it pulses with this 
with this odd, odd, uh, like crawling in your skin almost feeling like there's electricity just running straight down your arms. And in a just right outside of his house in a gigantic cloud just spawns these just spawns a 20 foot cloud of locusts and they're all spinning around uh, just oh in this my area. god I, I, so it's a locust plague freaking staff yes and you oh, you oh, notice at, and you can just see them kind of like swarming around and everything that they staff touch just like everything is completely dead underneath they're just eating it instantly and it's just kind of circling around the building now Oh, uh, how big, like, how big wide? 20 feet wide. A 20-foot area. 20 feet wide. Locust bag. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gav just goes, yeah, bitches. <laughs> he kind of sits there's like, I didn't know it was going to do that. That's terrifying. Uh, here. And he hands, <laughs> uh, he hands Gumi a, a somewhat larger bag of holding than what uh, he initially handed to you. All right, Gumi takes the bag and and looks inside the bag. Uh, as you look inside, and there is just more or less blackness, and you can see a tiny little light, just very very faintly down what near, looks to be the bottom of it. All right, well then she's just gonna slither her way inside the bag. Now I don't know if anyone's actually done that before, like just went inside of a bag of holding. I don't know how that works. I don't think you need to like roll any type of you know, the thing for it, but... Well, yeah, not <laughs> crit one, you just went into the black hole. Yeah, crit, crit one, you go into the dimension of hell. No. Um... <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, as you... You're stuck at the fourth dimension what for the rest of the game. game. You need to roll, like... You know, in, 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 a certain, in a certain other uh, podcast, mm. they just kind of go in. Oh, okay. Like whatever they I didn't need to. think because I, I was I was unsure if someone would be like you need to roll a constitution check or something no. since it's another dimension. But yeah, I guess that that, that would be kind yeah. of BS if you're going to be using it. So uh, it, you kind of it kind of like streamlines it. Okay, yeah. So you yeah. so you uh, you sloop on in there with a kind of weird <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you, all this wish you, you instantly <laughs> seem to be what's falling and then you're just having a slow fall down to a small patch of ground and there's a small little hut a good about a good uh, small one room hut and it has a few little chests and things. It's just a it's just a normal sized little almost looking like an apartment complex and you oh. have a you have a hut in the center of a dimensional bag what whose hut oh we don't know huts no um <laughs> huts, huts. huts gaming huh yes <laughs> huts huts get your top quality huts top kick but yeah so well, you i guess uh, okay well uh so what for, so i guess uh she'll leave the uh bag okay. how do you get out do you just the way same way you go in he oh, i was gonna say there'd probably be like a portal in the sky that you just go back through find, <laughs> find their sits there oh oh i for i forgot how to tell her how to get out um hmm. i didn't really think of that myself uh 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 okay uh can you hear me he's shouting into a bag <laughs> she tries to shout back I don't know. Um, it's it's hard to tell whether or not the sound would carry all the way through the dimension. <laughs> um, if you see a small crystal on the ground, maybe like a spell circle, something try standing in that. She looks around the apartment <laughs> for <laughs> anything. Throw a rope down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like like it only's like a tiny little bit of rope, even though it's like a thirty foot rope. It only goes a little bit all the way. Yeah, well, need more rope. Dimension. <laughs> Yeah, there, there should be, like, a spell circle that you uh, just kind of step on. It should launch you back up. All right, well, Gumi will look around her apartment for anything similar to that. Okay, just just to the left of the, uh, like, the entrance on the small little patch of ground, you do see a spell circle. All right, she'll slither her way over and step in it. And with a quick, thoop, you just launch right up through the cosmos and just, poop, right back out of the bag. So there you go. You now have, have a dimensional house. That currently only you can fit. I don't. Yeah, unless think? unless everyone else could shrink or something, they they can't get in. Not currently. Like, we can only get the, the, the opening's only like that big. Yeah, I mean, realistically, there you go. Bag of holding, right there. Ooh. Yep. 
Yeah, that's that's about as far as you can go. So a slime can do that, but uh, a minotaur couldn't. Sniper? <laughs> 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 Jeez. <laughs> All right, so he goes. Oh well, well, th- okay. So I'm glad that you like all your gifts, and you you guys hear um, what seems to be a loud. Okay, food. is it my food? Food. food. Just happened? a very loud knocking. And you, huh? what, what was that? What was that? And you just hear, thump, thump, thump. Seems to be that there's someone pounding very heavily on the uh, on the door. Hmm. Who is it? <laughs> In that voice. That is a very that... uh, that is a very squeaky minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> I I animated a, a zombie claw and it's squeezing his testicles. That's why he got that voice. Kinky. Anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You never saw? Uh, why you, why what was you, it? Why are you going around grabbing balls, Gab? What well, the thing in the thing in freaking uh, the monsters? Why not the Adams family? The hand. <laughs> Oh, just like Uncle, what's his face? Uh, no, isn't his name that's just... just the thing? It, yeah, it's it's just, no, I thought the. Th- I think you're thinking of Uncle Festus. A Fester? Uncle no, Fester. I think wasn't Fester. No, cousin it was the haired one. So yeah, yeah the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, oh. yeah, it's thing. a thing. It's just thing. <laughs> yeah, the thing, thing is just a hand. Matt, they, hey, you laughed. That's actually a spell, though. But um, no, uh, <laughs> no. But you guys hear a loud thudding at the door. He, he's oh, oh, hold on, I'll, go, I'll go. Uh, actually. And he uh, he kind of motions over to the gnome that's that was kind of sitting there in the last one. He's like, um, "Could you go get the door, please? I I'm kind of busy right now." The gnome kind of goes, ah, "All right, let's whatever." And he kind of just hops on off and walks on down. There, as they open the door, there is what looks to be a shoddy and ill-shaken um, diplomat. Has nice fancy clothes on. He's a bit. Poor, poor sign. He's a he's a pretty big guy. He has a pair of glasses and whatnot, small little hat. And he sits there. And goes, oh, oh God! Is is fine? They're here. I must I must speak with him quickly. He goes, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, go. He's he's ready. Hey, hey, fine there. And uh, the the wizard comes up. Oh, what what is it? Oh, thank God. The uh, the the, 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 the diplomat says. Oh, oh, thank God! You are the most, you are the powerful wizard that I keep hearing about. I am in, I am in need of grave assistance. And find there kind of just like looks back at your party, like, um, you need assistance with a grave. Uh, uh, I that, can help with that. <laughs> that may or may not be too far from the truth, actually. Um, uh, Aiden, I... Aiden, put put the axe down. <laughs> Aiden. But I like that. I'll, I'll give you a treat, Kaden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He puts the axe down. <laughs> Hensler, what, what Jimmy just, reaches uh, over and gets a treat and gives it to Kaden. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Fine, they just kind of sits there like, they may not be the best party. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh. the... So the diplomat goes, I, okay, I come, I come from a town not far off, a good maybe day's worth uh, north of here. It is a small town called Munich, and I really, really need help. We have had a very, very large problem that we need your help with. And the wizard just keeps, like, looking at you guys, like, uh, you, you, guys, you guys want to adventure? You, you want to help me, please? Uh, I, I have things I have to do. No. No. I mean, no. I, I'll pay you. <laughs> oh, well, oh, sorry. I just need. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Great idea. I love that idea. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, are we just like? Do we, are we just like people like with shiny. no lives and a thirst for money? I mean, you are a band of adventurers. I mean, there's a few we're, around. Yes. What do you we're, think? We're, Adventuring we're takes money. We have to get yeah. money to do we're adventures. That we have to exist. choose like. More than a hundred gold, and we've made like a thousand. I mean, what are you guys gonna do? Make pizzas? I mean, you're a minotaur. Come on. <laughs> Why are you always <laughs> mad? You see how you think? How, you, imagine More how like silly no. a minotaur oh. librarian would be. Come on. Oh, that'd be no. Hey, no, you should. You should be, should be in charge of a china tiny, shop. Tiny glasses. <laughs> Why are you always picking on the minotaur? Come on. Be- because he's he's a he's a giant cow. Um. <laughs> 
a bear a uh, giant bull, <coughs> that's right. A giant bull that charged and just. Uh, Thank you, Darcy. There, Dar someone gets it. What? No life in a he thirst says, for money. I buy Minotaur pizza. Well, you may have the lucrative opportunity to open a pizzeria later on. Um, okay, so, <laughs> so yeah. The, the, I, uh, I, I, oh God! Imagine like with Gumi Beast being like Beast. the assistant and getting slime in the on the pizzas constantly. It's just secret sauce. <laughs> it's secret sauce. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so so the diplomat walks up and he's like, oh, 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 I, oh you guys are adventurers, aren't you? And he just kind of no. he he runs right up to Caden and he's just standing there and he's and he's kind of like he's kind of like rubbing on your armor. He's like, oh, you are adventurers. Oh, thank God, thank God. And he kind of kneels down on one knee, like, please, please, just help us, help us so much. You, you're. Very terrifying and intimidating, but please, you have to help us. Cadian, Cadian's okay. Pick up Axe. It's okay for Axe now. <laughs> <laughs> he backs away very, very quickly. He's he's like, oh, right. oh. And he, he kind of like looks around the room and he realizes, yeah, yeah, there, there are no non-hostile people here. <laughs> uh, okay, so he, so he pretty much says, listen, we have had a, yeah, you're Amir's pizza. Pizza, Iremia's pizzeria. No, Iremia's pizzeria. <laughs> so the Iremia's uh, pizza. Yeah. So Iremia's the pizzeria. The diplomat kind of sits and he says, "Okay, look, I just Day. I will level with you. They, we have had children disappearing in our town for quite some time, and we, I hoped that Finethier would have some magical ability to be able to help us. But maybe you, you guys, your party of adventurers, you could help us instead." Well, where those guidance? I mean, how? I don't, I don't know if he offered anything, but we, the town people, are very, very willing and ready to pay. No, it's important. Were there ransom notes? There, there were not. They were, the children just disappeared. Oh God, it's for sex. Okay, that's as the slime in charge of funds. I need to ask <laughs> how much money you're offering. He, he kind of goes by and he's like, no, no, we don't have sex with children in Munich, but... No, 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 I don't mean you have sex. I mean the person who took them has sex with them. I... I don't know how to respond to that one. Um... <laughs> so, so, they Geb, these children Geb, before they lose their childlike innocence. Geb um... realizes that the FBI is probably going to be here soon. He immediately backs out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> he wants no part of that. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Okay, um, no, so, <coughs> so yeah, you guys, God. Oh, God, he's right, I'm a child. God, Hen. Yeah, yeah, you are a child. My <laughs> <laughs> Hen Zoid, you're gonna get it. Uh, All right, you're gonna, you're gonna find the long, slithery tentacle of the law. No, but, I um, go over, I go over and hug Iron Man. Like, oh, 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 <laughs> the whole time it was Gooby taking the children. Yeah, she just absorbs children. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Who are you to judge Gumi's diet? Oh my god. Okay, so Okay, so, okay, so anyways, the the you, as you guys are bickering and whatnot, the small gnome goes, Uh, how much are you paying? I I'd be willing to help for some money. And he, he goes over to the gnome, now that he's someone he can actually kinda of be around, and he goes, Oh, thank you, thank you so much, Master Gnome. I we are we are prepared to pay you in not only a good monetary fee but we are also prepared to pay you in hospitality and many gifts and trinkets in our possession uh, okay like i said as master of the treasury i need to know how much you're offering uh, i i cast minor summoning and summon a, a oh boa god. constrictor and it just starts slithering around him oh god not so not not hurting cr0 but just starts slithering around him and he kind of freaks out. He's like, oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, get it off me. Oh, oh, oh. Tell us tell us how much you're offering, and then oh God. the Python I, will go away. Oh, my heart, oh, God. Oh, I mean, I could summon uh, my ghoul at the oh same, God, we're gonna at the same time. time. Oh, this God. is my friend Shoshana. Don't don't mess with her. And he just She's a passes. strong, independent black snake. She's, he he she's passes not. out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we will help you with this adventure. Uh, you kind of, kind of had him. You you scared just, him. He just passed, he passed out. out. He just straight. Drunk. Oh yeah. damn it! <laughs> uh, I think we were a bit too rough with him. I didn't do anything though. He goes over just like. Hey, your snake may not attack him, but it can hurt him. You gotta remember, diplomats are very, very uh, finicky. 
They don't do much in real life, so. Sorry, Shoshana, and I just unsummon her. Hey, <laughs> Caden, can you can you pick up the diplomat? We need. We're gonna have to take him to, to the end. Just, just, just <laughs> the back and go. I'll give you a treat if you do it, Caden. So yeah, I'm I'm like hanging onto the diplomat's ankle and dangling him over my shoulder, carrying him slung across my back out of the tower. <laughs> Oh this my god. You're gonna get you're gonna go this is not how you treat diplomats. Oh, you, <laughs> we're gonna no. start a war because of this. It's not like he has diplomatic immunity. Oh, we're just god. gonna we're just gonna start a war. That's what we're gonna end up doing. Okay, so where did you bring this person? <laughs> to the inn. To the inn. Uh PK, my character is a half orc death knight who is like wow. half decayed. Yeah. A la wow, yeah. Yeah, essentially a necro paladin, but yeah. Um, you guys are, like, a good five, six miles away from the inn, so you just trudge there all of a sudden. You guys are in this yeah. town in the middle of the forest, remember? Or this, uh, tower in the middle of the forest, remember? Yeah, well, there's, we still came, we, we, we slept in a town. No, you, like I said, there was, there was, uh, quarters inside the tower. Oh, Re Remember, okay. there was three we'll take different a, rooms. We'll take the diplomat to, uh, to one of the beds. Oh, okay, flop him down on there. Not the one that we killed. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah, not the bed we killed. <laughs> Only in D&D, &D, not the bed you killed. Um, okay, so he flops on down, and after a few minutes, he kind of wakes back up. He's, oh, oh, I had a terrible nightmare. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh it's you guys. Oh, oh, and I have he a wakes problem. Up to me just, wakes up to me just standing over in my half-decayed face, being the first thing he sees when he wakes up. Bye. <laughs> and he kind of freaks out. <laughs> Oh, Did he pass that again? Oh my god! No, no, thankfully not. Uh, so, so he kind of he kind of uh, sits there, he's like, oh, oh, I have a problem. I need help. Kids are being taken. Please, love of God, help me, someone. Oh god. Oh, I slap him, chest. but not too hard. Look, we're helping. I'll what be, do you want? I'll be willing to pay you each a thousand gold as well as multiple uh, <laughs> precious gems. Ooh. Yeah. That you're, that, you're, that proud of me. Your undead knight is dripping on me. It's rather unsettling. <laughs> dripping? Cadian, oh, hey, Cadian, here's a treat. Fetch. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. What, what was Cadian's intelligence again? Like eight? Eight, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh... <laughs> that's why I'm saying I'm like the big puppy dog, Bolte. <laughs> <laughs> that that's why that's why we're encouraging him with treats. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Um <laughs> So anyways, yes, please. Uh Munich, it's right up the town. You can you can follow this main road that it's currently on. It's about a day's north of here. I will go on ahead to prep everything. Our uh, our our lord of the town would love to uh speak with you guys and uh thank you. Thank you so much. And he kind of just like walks out and He's very, he's still You're huffing, kind of like bouncing and bubbling down. And uh, Finethear just goes, "Ah, oh, that was uh, that was kind of an odd man, wasn't it?" <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, um, it seems you guys have an adventure set out for you. So, I mean, if you if you guys want to come back, that's that's more than fine. I'd always like the company. All give right, me, yeah. give me turns to Gab. And goes, we really need to have a standard fee from now on. We can't just accept every single person who offers us a job. We need to have a standard up front and then an after fee. I mean, a thousand gold is pretty good. Like, I'm I know, fine but we that. got nothing up front. Gold, pack of cigarettes, That's and a job. We need, well, how are we going to pay for the adventure if they don't give us stuff up front? I mean, I have like 2,000 gold right now. Hey, that's beside the point. They don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I have 2,000 gold with nothing to spend it on, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so fine through kind of just, uh, well. Wink to the DM. <laughs> Go away. Um, to spend on. <laughs> um, so fine through kind of sits there and he says, okay, well, um, apparently you guys have an adventure to go on. Like I said, you can come back whenever you want. I do, however, have uh, one last thing I can offer you guys since... Uh, was that someone? Hello? I have no idea what that was. Or was that? Oh, was that a chair I squeaking? I think it's my chair squeaking. Okay, it sounded like someone said something. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oil that chair, man. Uh, squeak, okay, so squeak. So he says, I have one last thing I can offer you. And he uh, he kind of just walks to the back and he's tapping on a wall for a second, just kind of sitting there. Uh, 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 here it is. He kinda, you hear a loud resounding boom as he taps on the wall and a door appears all of a sudden. He says, ah, I've, I've been waiting to use this for a long time. Uh, here, go on in. Huh. Uh, I go in first. In case I die, then I know that they have my back. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're the healer. Why are you going first? Oh, that's true. I can raise somebody if we if we need to. Never mind. If you die, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Never mind. Okay. You should be letting me go first. Come on. Yeah. Okay. He's already okay, dead. Okay, he goes first. What health do you have? Me? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I, ha you guys... I have 60, and my ghoul has 33. Yeah, so you guys... Well, then send me through. I've got 67. What? <laughs> okay, he goes He goes first. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, you, you kind of walk in. You walk in, and there's this large... It seems to be just like this large domed marble area, and there are a few different people kind of standing around, and it looks like there are just shelves endlessly. Your shelves on Bookshelf. all sides of you. Uh, some have books, some have items, some have various <coughs> different things. Ooh. And can I, like, what, can I like do a perception check to like see what kind of things there are? Or? If you'd like to, go for it. Fantasy right. Costco, where all your dreams come true. No, I kidding. just want to make a second. Instead of, instead I may, I may or may not be stealing some things from the adventure zone. Uh, can, I, can I go look at the uh, the books? If you'd like, pretty much what it is is it's an ethereal shop that you guys can you know you guys can buy stuff with and whatnot. Is there anything necromancer related? Anything necromancer related? You're gonna have to roll an arconic arconic check for that one because I have. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we used the uh, the thing. Uh. Yep. Oh damn! Plus a six, so that is a twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thank you. Damn. Okay. Uh, I know. No, I'm okay, sorry. Twenty-four. So, okay. As you're browsing the uh, the seemingly necro or druid, either, you, either both. As you're browsing the seemingly limitless uh, library, you can you see various different spell books from various different ages with various different schools and uh, different classes and whatnot, and you do come across a minion. <laughs> I can I can summon zombie minions now. That would be horrifying. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait. This is my ghoul. His name is Kevin. That's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Just think of an undead minion, and that's his ghoul. I'm not I'm not DM, but I just want to say I'm allowing that. <laughs> um, just an undead minion is just a green version of that. That's that's horif <laughs> That's horrifying, but okay. That's awesome. Um, okay, but no, you you do see some uh, a bunch of different wizard books and spell. You see a bunch of different spell books and things mm -hmm. on both life and death. Uh, and then one of the people walks up to you. Says, oh, are you are you looking for something? There's a there's a tall high elf that's kind of standing there looking at you. Yes, yeah. uh, is it boy, boy or girl? Huh? Is it boy or girl? It's a boy or other oh. gosh. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm looking for a necromancer spell, please. Uh, <laughs> necromancy is kind Bad of odd, probably. Habu. Necromancy is uh is a little uh, esoteric to say the least. I I don't judge, yeah. but it's yeah, hard. yes, but I'm bridging the gap between life and death. It's I not like was... I'm just summoning zombie hordes. There was a few I'm... other people that tried to do that in the past, and uh. Kind of. Yeah, but my, I, I was taught by a, a really great How woman. Think she I get she taught me a lot of things. <laughs> uh, well, aren't liches just necromancers that just end up becoming zombies themselves? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that, that's pretty much what they are. Uh, like, what, they practice so, necromancy on themselves and which, just die. <laughs> which reminds me, what um, what level necromancer are you? Like, what level spells can you use with necromancy? Level one. Well, I'm only level one necromancer, so level one. Okay, so you'd only be able if to I use level up one. again. I can use level two though, or so. maybe like a cantrip or something like that. Yeah, I okay. can already use a cantrip if yeah, if there's a cantrip. Oh, okay, gotcha. 
Um, yeah. So he kind of sits there and he goes, "Ah, oh, well, uh, let me let me look around for necromancy, I guess. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes." And he kind of just walks off, looking, walking into endless bookshelves and looking for different things. So now they go, and I'll just sit here and twiddle my thumbs. If you'd like. <laughs> what else are you guys doing? Uh, let's see here. I don't know if there would be anything that would interest Caden. He starts Is looking it around. Is uh, KDN? Katie, eh, pff, it's Gumi, whatever. Gumi decides to oh, God, she didn't touch any books and leave slime everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Caden starts looking around the, uh, the the shelves for weapons. <laughs> for weapons? And what are you proficient in again? Axes. Uh, great axes is the big thing. Great axes? Okay, that's no problem. Yeah, bro, that's what I have. Oh, no, I have a battle axe. What are you Yeah, you have about? a one-handed axe. I have a giant freaking two-handed axe. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, you, you look, and there is all manner of weapon. Anything that you could possibly find. There is one. You look I guess around. Gumi will look to see if she could find a better pistol among the. All uh, right. Do I uh, do I need to roll a perception what? check to try and find something better than mine? No, not really. Uh, what's your well, what, I... What's your damage currently at with that axe? What one d twelve plus four? Is that is that with or without your modifiers? That's without modifiers. Oh, it has the plus four on it. Okay. Yeah. Wait, okay. how does that plus four on it? No, 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 no. That is with, that's with modifiers, sorry. Okay, I was going to say, well, like, hold what? on a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 1d12. Yeah, okay. Um, I was going to say, hold the freaking phone a second. Uh, okay, so yeah, you, you see a bunch, and you can make you can make your weapons into, like, runic weapons, right? Uh, as a DK, I can make them runic weapons, but I don't really get any real benefits from that until later on. Okay, okay. Is it kind of just like kind of like a sorcerer where you kind of like make a pact with a weapon? Yeah, during a long rest I can m turn it into a runic weapon, and for right now the only effect that has is while I'm holding it, I am immune to fear spells. Oh. But okay. later on, once I level up, I'll be able to use um, every strike that I do will add poison damage as well. Damn. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Okay, uh... The all right, well, that's fine then. Uh, so, you, yeah, you do see a few more great axes, large, ornate brass ones and dwarven ones, elven ones. You see, you can see wep, uh, axes of all shapes and sizes from all different races. Okay. Let's see. Mm. I'm just going to start. I, I wander up to to Caden, and I do an arcana check to see if there's anything cool that he would want. Anything like enchanted or anything like that? Yeah, just because I'm, you know, sitting here waiting. That's good because my arcana is at negative one. <laughs> at six. Oh, oh my geez. god! Uh, no, that's that's a what is that? A nine. It's a nine. A nine. Still not yeah. like great. Hmm. Okay. Only this axe shop was a brothel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just, well, it's just giant. Well, uh, Double-bladed um, dildos everywhere. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god! Um, <laughs> it can reach everywhere. <laughs> oh my oh god. god! No, no. <laughs> great, great! You uh, just killed our dark there. knight. You already died once. <laughs> oh god, god, no! You just you just killed our dark knight. Um, okay. Twenty sixteen took another one. Then our dildo. <laughs> Okay, so less. as you're as you're looking around, there's a small little uh, there's a small dwarf that comes up to you. He says, "Ah, are you looking for weapons, are you? I, I think I can help you with that." And he walks away real quick, and he comes back, and he's like, "Here, take feast your eyes on this." And he holds up a dagger this big. <laughs> this, and, and I'm holding it like this. This could be for you, Caden. Caden, remember Crocodile Dundee. His what? intelligence nope. is eight, man. Oh god. <laughs> this never mind then. This is not this right. <laughs> could cause mild discomfort at best. Ah, well. uh, I'm, I'm holding up the dagger between two fingers, going You know, that's you have a point. You're a bit big. And he takes it back. <laughs> <laughs> he walks he walks back and he's like, ah, oh, okay, I got something for you. And he pulls out a, a bit bigger, he pulls out a morning star. He's like, ah. You might like this, huh? Yeah, I think you'd like this one. <laughs> okay. 
kind of a tough customer. He all right, he takes it. He, he takes it back. When your intelligence is eight, man, you can't do much. At, the, at this point, Gab is Gab is behind him, laughing his ass off. All right, he walks. He walks back. And he goes, "Okay, this one's good, huh?" And he holds up a sickle. He's like, "Ah, you might like oh, this Jesus. one." Yeah, you could cut your nails with it. That'd be good. And I show him the ends of my rotted off fingers. <laughs> That's disgusting. I just ate. And he takes it back. <laughs> okay, he's like, all right, all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. I'm, I'm just messing around. Here you go. And he fucking, he walks back and just hauling this gigantic axe. Thump, thump. Poof. All right. This is what you want. And it's an axe almost twice the size of him. <laughs> he does this like oh, maneuver oh. with the axe, axe, and is like, <clears throat> and God, Hannah's oh, gone. No. Oh no! Can I, can I do an Arcana check to see? Great, Hannah, you cool messed up that? everything. No, the Henzoid. Great, Hannah. Hen, 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 bad Henzoid. You messed up the overlay. <laughs> God damn it! Bad him, <laughs> bro. God damn it! Oh. Are, you, are you coming back or what? <laughs> Every single time. Ah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, don't... I'm calling you back, bro. Ugh. Ban Hensoy. There you go. Yeah, ban him. <laughs> you idiot. It's such a... <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming back? There he is. Uh, this is my phone. Oh, no. Oh, God. That this face is hideous. Oh, God. That fucked everything up, too. <laughs> Turn the phone sideways. <laughs> um... There, there you go. go. Okay, that works better. Is that better? Yeah. What happened? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the quality. Oh, God. God damn it. We're going to replace you with this, Carl. This, I'm trying to fix it, okay? We're going to replace you with Carl in a second. Maybe oh, Carl God, no. Won't, won't, no. won't break things. No, we don't get we don't get Carl in this chat. No. Okay. Um, good Lord, no. Problems. No. Please, no. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so yeah, any anyway, before so we were rudely interrupted by someone. Can I can I hey, see if fuck up. this was probably my dad fiddling around with the, with the <laughs> shit again. I don't know. Can what? I can I uh check his axe and see if there's anything special with it? If you'd like, yeah. I got a fifteen. You got a fifteen? Yeah. Okay. Well I rolled nine plus, you know, that's not. Oh, okay. Are you doing Arcana or just perception? Arcana. Okay. To see if there's any, like, special, if it's just an axe. And it, any special magic or anything like that? Uh, no. Uh, so you take a look at it, and it, it kind of looks like it's shimmering, but it just looks like it's really clean. You can't detect any type of special magic with it. Oh, okay. It just seems like a normal great axe to you. He goes, ah, you'd love this one. This one's just great. Okay. Just, just, you, you have it in your hands. Do you like how it feels? Mm. Yes, I do. Well, at the, uh... At the risk of uh, breaking the fourth wall, I just want to let you know that's a 2d12 axe there. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit stronger than what you might have. It's wow, actually, yeah. Yeah, 2d12 hmm. slashing. Like I said, uh, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> I just doubled the amount of damage I'm doing. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, Go Gooby Gooby's now interested in getting an upgraded weapon for herself as well. Yo, you're, you're just... Are, are we good, Hen? Yeah, there we go. Okay. They must have a really small. Uh, oh. <laughs> they must have a really small what? It's really small. Whoa. Car. <laughs> Mike pop. Oh man. Okay, so. Oh, let me go there. Okay. So, anyways, hey, as hold on. Can, can I roll a perception check to look at the axe myself? Yeah, go for it. Okay, because I actually do have. What is my perception? I actually do have a plus two perception. What up, Arambe? When the hell did you get wisdom? Um, when I retooled my character, wisdom oh. affects my ghoul, so oh. I had to, uh, oh, uh, get okay. rid of some dexterity to add some wisdom. Oh, so, okay, that makes sense. So you're wise, like, just not too smart. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what'd you, what'd you roll? Oh, a, a nat one. one. Okay. A nat um, one. You, so, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> you, as you're taking a look at the SX... You see big shiny handle with the blade on it. 
And that's uh, all it takes for Canyon to immediately just fall in love with the axe. <laughs> it has a grip. Okay, and anyway. It yeah. can chop things. Damn. Okay, yeah, so as as he's messing around with this big freaking axe. Can, can, um, can like, Dave, like, cut himself trying to figure out if he can cut things? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is your minion, like, always summoned? Do you have it always summoned? No, um, right now it's, uh, let's, let's see, I have to use it as a bonus action in combat, and it lasts okay. an hour. Oh, okay, it's, it's mainly like a combat pet, more or less. Yep, okay. um, let's okay. see, if I wasn't on Holy Spec, it would last one minute, I am on Holy Spec, it lasts an hour, at level 10, it will last indefinitely. Oh, okay, so you just be able to boom and have one. Okay, that's cool. Yep. Okay, so as, um, as he is messing around playing with this axe, the, uh, High Elf comes back up to you, Gab, and he goes, Oh, I uh, I found a book for you, and he holds this this book that kind of just is pulsing with this like dark misty miasma ooh, around ooh, it. Ooh. Can I? Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of check should I use to like see what it. Can I open it? Most likely Arcana, yeah. Um, okay. I, I guess, yeah. I guess that would be. Or should I just open it and see what's in it? I mean, you can if you'd like. I think I'll just, I think I'll just open it and see if I can read what it says. Okay. Well, I get. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how adding wizard spells or you know necro spells, whatever, would work. So I guess just do an arcana check. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd have to sit here for. It's like an hour or something like that. Oh, yeah. To, short... Yeah, you like focus on and read it and so, understand it. Yeah, to transfer it over, but. Okay. Well, I got nineteen. Again. Well, we'll we'll you say did that a lot better than I did. Okay. Oh we'll... no, that's a twenty-five. I'm sorry, it's a twenty-five. It's fine. We'll say that you do that just for the sake of <laughs> you know the podcast and everything. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. You... Actually, that sounds cool than my spellbook. But what? Uh, I mean, you can replace it with that spellbook if you. Do you have a spellbook? Oh, uh, no, I don't. Yeah, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I okay, forgot. That's part of the, it's transferred over. That's part of the necro thing? Okay. Yeah, because my mentor gave it to me, so I want that. Okay. And he's a, he sits oh, there and he's, that's my backup spell book. I put it in my bag. Gotcha. He sits there, and he looks at you for a second, and he says, Oh, well, uh, this is kind of awkward. Um, it seems that there are two different spells in this one that you can kind of learn from. Um, There's two spells in an entire book? Well, two spells yeah. that you understand. You oh, are a level one like, necro, what? so... Yeah, that's true. Is there more spells as I level up? Mm, possibly. Okay. I don't know. What are the two spells? <laughs> we'll figure that one out later. Um, <laughs> he goes, ah, I, this, is, this is an odd book. Uh, this book doesn't let you learn too many at a time. I would only focus on <laughs> one if I were you. And uh, it looks like you have two here. It looks like you either can probably choose Inflict Wounds or... Ray of sickness is what it looks like. I already have inflict wounds, so how about ray of sickness? Okay, I was making sure that I didn't give you something you already had. Okay, and then that, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. But okay. You so learn, I have ray of sickness. You learn ray of sickness. Awesome. Um, inflict wounds is my healing spell for me. So. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> I of course, have that. <laughs> complicates. Maybe it takes. It took a whole book for just two spell. I mean that that could be true actually. Yeah. What what they say? Uh, I mean, magic's pretty complicated. It, it could take a whole book for just two spells. That's true. You gotta think about it. Like magic isn't something everyone picks up. Damn it, man. Ed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, okay. Anyways, so yeah, you know that. Uh, so you have your spell. Caden Cadian has his axe. Yay! And that is. It's up to you guys. Okay. Right, well, um, Lumi's gonna go up to the person who gave Caden the axe and ask, "Do you have firearms?" Ah, I, uh, no, They're, they're no. kind of a new thing, so I, I don't... Why do you want your arms on no, fire? No, miss, miss, <laughs> I'm not a wizard. I, uh, I can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, I could direct Thanks, you to Dad. The, the one that Geb was holding. Uh, yeah, he, he's the one who can probably cast arms of fire or whatever you said. I, I no, can't no, do no. that. No, no, no. Oh, I, it'd, it'd be better if I just show you. Uh, she grabs okay. her, her pistol and shows it to uh, the person. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, um, I could dig it around and maybe find something. Uh, 
I can't guarantee anything, honestly. Uh, we will we'll try though, I guess. We'll, All right. We'll, we'll I'll I'll go look for a bit. Uh, I'll be back in in a little bit. And he kind of just walks on off for a bit, and kind of just disappears for right now. And now we twiddle our thumbs again. Mm. Yay! Possibly. <laughs> I guess, I guess is... Julie will just twirl her gun. Cause... Wait, did, did, did he... weapons Wait. drop? Iramir, did you get anything? No, 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 that's... Is this only a weapons shop? No, no it's, there's, books, there's, books. there's weapons, there's items, there's spells. It's it's a pretty much like, it's a magical shop, more or less. Because I'm looking for like an anvil and anvil hammer. Okay, yeah, because it's, it's pretty that much... That can be easily carried. It's kind of like an interdimensional shop. Kind of like I was gonna say, okay. if if it's a uh, small enough anvil, you can put it in your bag of holding, and then it weighs nothing. I think. Wait, I have a bag of holding. There, I thought there were portable anvils in Five E. Like I, yeah, wait, I, I thought there was. Anvil mean shrinking anvil or anvil on like a cart? No, like a small, like a small forge. Apparently, there's a three point five E one, but there's not a um. Oh, we'll can, we'll just use that. Yeah, I can kind of. I guess we can kind of do that. Um. Okay. Yeah, how much would that cost? Well, um, okay. So as you're as you're looking around, there's a um, there's a uh, what's it call it? There's a there's a female human kind of sitting behind one of the uh, large areas. There's many different things. There's different raw materials for the crafting and whatnot. And she goes, "Oh, what what is what is it you're looking for?" So like, wait, wait, like wait, one more time. Set for blacksmithery. Ah, uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, I think I could do something. And she kind of walks on off and just like throwing things left and right. He's like, ah, ah, here you go. And she brings this big sack. He's like, here, it's uh, it's twenty pounds of iron. That just just twenty pounds of iron. You you said you wanted <laughs> something to blacksmith with. Yeah, but I also need <laughs> something to blacksmith on. Oh, oh, here, go check out that forge, actually. And she points, and there's this fucking two-story tall, gigantic, glowing, pillared forge. It's like, ah, oh, you can craft <laughs> anything you want right there. Wait, do I have do I have the bag of holding? Every, uh, yeah, I gave all of you a bag of holding. Oh, then I can just chuck that forge in the bag of holding. A two-story <laughs> tall forge? Sure, how big is my bag of holding? The size of a man purse. <laughs> this. Well, no, I mean, isn't it, like, bigger on the inside, or...? Yes, but anything that you put in it has to fit through that mouth yeah, of the bag. Yeah, yeah, you still have to. She's like... You know what? You, and then you know she... what? I just want to see him try. Let's not even... It's Iramir <laughs> just tries. You know I, I, Tell I, you I, what. A stretch check. Tell you what. You do a strength, do a strength check. Stretch. Go for it. Go for no, it. stretch check. Go for a stretch check. Okay. I think Gumi's the only one who can do a stretch check, but sure, go for it. His Is bag, that a D20 his bag plus one strength, or...? Sure, why not? His bag okay. breaks, all the dimensions start sucking into the bag, everybody dies. You've created a paradox. No, um... <laughs> and the, the dwarf kind of sits there, Acadian, going, he, is, he, uh, is he really going to do that? Yes. Acadian okay. just flops down with his axe and starts chanting. Because he's, uh, oh, uh, doing your, yeah, okay. Okay. I guess Gumi will just sit next to, to Caden, okay. just kind of no, watch this debacle. No, she, the, the, the girl sits there and goes, okay, 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 like, stop. That, that would have been hilarious, but stop, don't do that. Here, I have this. And she brings open this small little box, about a good size, like this big. And uh -huh. she puts it on the table, and she says, here you go, this is what you need. Oh, I look inside. Okay. And you see that there is a whole tiny little forge set. It got billows, uh, you know, uh, brazier, anvil, uh, tools, tongs, everything. Wow. So I could really use that to, like, work up my blacksmithing skills and whatnot? Uh, yeah, you just, um, it's a magic one. You have to find the command word for it, and then it will boop, pop open for you. Oh, go, go me. So, so like, that I'll and go goes... inside it, and it... When I go inside it, it'll seem like it's all regular size, but I can leave it, and it's like a tiny box. No, that would have been funny trying to see you crawl into a tiny box, but it's it's a magical one. It'll change when you use your command word to open it. But I don't know the command word. I neither do I. Gumi yeah, sees that. She's very intrigued. Do you have another one of those? Ah, uh, 
Uh, I'll go look. I don't okay, know. I still have the 20 pounds of iron. If you'd like, uh, 20 pounds of iron is uh, only 200 gold. Sure, why not? I have... I don't know how much gold I have, but you I think know. we all have two thousand. Yeah, because oh, I think I I think I gave you guys all a thousand or two. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, We're good. Okay, so so yeah. I, oh, uh, here you go. And she brings open another little box. I don't know if all the parts are in here, but this is another little spare forage for you. Oh, how much do you want for it? Uh, let's. Uh, oh, those are. Those aren't too expensive, actually. Uh, what was this? Uh, 7,000 gold. Oh. Okay. That's um, money. Hmm. hmm. Well, you did just help find the... I'll give it a discount for you. I'll give it to you for... 2,500. Oh. Let's see. I might have something that could... Do you accept trade-ins? Uh, no. Nope, we are not poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't even yeah, know how much money. money. Uh, get, I'll tell you what, what, this will be this will be a good faith one. I will give it to you guys on good faith. I just want to see what you guys can make with it. Okay. Uh, let me just grab my bag real quick. She, she go, right. run walks over, grabs the bag, which is always on Geb's back. Mm. Just, she keeps all her stuff on Gev's back just because it's easy for her. Oh, I was like, I thought you were taking my back. I was about no, to say, bitch. no, I, no, I <laughs> get up I, off my back. <laughs> I just put all my stuff on your back. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine then. I was, yeah, I, and well, she brings it over and she, she uh, puts the box in the in the bag. Okay, and then she uh, goes inside the bag herself to go set it up in her house. <laughs> she she kind of she kind of turns to Iron Man and she's like, you know, I would expect to be okay with seeing weird things like that but i never am so so we just leave you're never uh, ready Go Gumi's just sitting there in the bag and we all just leave oh take your sack of goop with you <laughs> <laughs> what about the gun uh uh oh yeah, yeah 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 hold on and um he comes on back he's like ah oh, okay uh i think i i think i found something for you uh and he holds out. He he pulls out this large ornate rifle. A musket. I don't have a musket. Uh, yeah. This is uh, I don't really know where this came from, honestly. I don't know where any of this stuff comes from. It's kind of magical, but yeah. They, 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 there you go. It's a it's a oh. it's a stick or something that like does. does. I don't I don't know how those work. I don't does, have arm fires. Just just feed it into the back. Uh, what? It's just, the sound's coming from the bag. She's talking through the bag. She hasn't left the bag. Uh, hello? Just, 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 just feed it into the bag. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And he kind of, like, opens the bag and... Whoa! I've never looked in one of these. Oh, my God. There... Hey, there's a tiny person in here! Look out! In a tiny house. With a tiny... With a tiny forge. <laughs> No, when the forge went into the bag, it uh, grew to full size. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, just, okay, just, just toss uh, it down. It's, it's coming down, I guess. And he kind of like wriggles the, wriggles the um, the <laughs> firearm into it and whoop, throws it down. She catches it and with a little squish. <laughs> okay, uh, that knocked this on the uh, weirdest thing I have done in the past two hundred years. Anyway, I'm gonna whatever. Okay. Okay. We good? Let's go. I yeah. I, I guess someone so. has to pick up my bag. Otherwise, I, I'm. Just... Katie, oh. pick up the bag. There's a treat in it for you. Oh, I forgot. He's oh, he's we, gonna be doing his to... thing for the for the hour or so. Wait, am I supposed yeah. to lift him up? It takes an hour to uh, I think attune to a weapon. Yeah, it so, does. So should we uh, should we go on a a quick break and then skip <laughs> skip yeah. an hour ahead? I, guys, it's it's been about an hour, so I think we're gonna go take a quick commercial break real quick. A non-sponsored commercial break. Yes, please, Dr. Pepper, sponsor us. <laughs> Taste the bell. <laughs> oh, oh um, actually, uh, this is water, so. Wits. <laughs> what? 
I sent you the uh, edited one, by the way. You know what? I'm, oh, gonna okay, that. Cool. I'm gonna go pee pee. Yeah, it did. I finished it while we were doing Sauce. it. Sauce. Oh, dope. Okay, I will take a look at that then. Uh, some of the text gets a little screwy because the formatting, but you know, I, I kind of got it. It's good. Don't worry. Okay, cool. I got that. So yeah, guys, we're gonna take a quick little uh, commercial break, and we will be back in a bit. And we'll probably spend the last five minutes of it talking about random shit. Well, I'm gonna well, go. I was gonna go for at least another hour. No, but I mean yeah. the last five minutes of the intermission. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's what we usually do. At least, I will usually, as in we did last time. That's the only other time we've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, see you in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm back. I want pee pee. Did uh? Okay. Yeah, Magic the Gathering break. Yay! So. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm gonna be rebuilding my uh, my character because apparently Orc Pub, the website that I've been using to build my yeah. sheet, won't allow me to use custom uh, weapons. Yeah. So so, so I, I got some new cards. Nice. I'm so happy. I have a bunch of stuff for my uh, my zombie deck. Oh, uh, open with. I don't. Oh. Okay. We went to uh, we went to Barnes and Noble going out out of a uh, business sale. Yeah. And I got I got some I got some uh, comics. Nice. Wait, where are they? <laughs> I put them. <coughs> so. <coughs> so. I got Monstrous. Yep. I got Batgirl. I got The Fix. All right, I'm back. And, and then what, I got what I miss. Prez. That's awesome. So nice. it's weird. When you live in a family of like five, you expect there to always be somebody out and about, right? But I, I just went out there, and it's like every light is turned off and everyone's asleep, and it's like only 5.30. It's bizarre. Uh, what's it? Oh God, what's that set called? I literally just got it from it. Uh, it's um. Oh God. Oh, Eldritch Moon. That's it. What's everybody okay. doing? What you doing, Day? Okay. Here is this. Okay. What is it? It is a editable PDF file that you can save with all your character information in it. Oh, I used Orc Pub. If yes, so. I did. I did as well. But when uh, Woods just gave me the two D uh, twelve axe. Orc Pub does Orc Pub does not allow you to do custom weapons. Yeah, I know, and that's been pissed, that pisses me off about that. Uh, I funded them on Kickstarter for the exact reason of them adding new features like that. Yeah, so I made the that so that I could have the character sheet generated for me, and now I'm just going to input it into this editable PDF. That's so that smart. I, I, I will probably see. do the same. Oh, can you, can you even do the check boxes? You can even do the check boxes. Awesome. Good, because that means I can add and actually put in how much my firearms do. Though, to, uh, though, Woods did not tell me how much my new gun does. My musket. Yeah, he didn't, did he? No. I'm also, I'm going to have to start, like, wearing, like, clothes with the slime. Because <laughs> of the simple fact that uh, some of my abilities rely on me having these trusty items that I use. But, so it's going to have to be slime items, then. No, no, you can, yeah. slime could wear clothes. But if you're gooping around, then you're going to keep getting out of the clothes, so it has to be slime stuff. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm saying is uh, I either I either have to not go completely goop or I have to uh, well, not wear clothes sometimes and not get what's the buffs. The, I was about to say, what's the point of being a slime if you can't goop? No, I'm just saying is that maybe maybe sometimes I'll, I'll go full goop. Oh, are you serious? Though? And sometimes I won't go full, full goop. Oh, like, that's I can, true. Yeah, so I mean, like, if I'm if I'm being super stealthy, I'll go full goop, and you guys can hold on to like 
my character's clothes. But, like, if I'm not going full goop, I could just be, like, a humanoid slime with the clothes on. Oh, yeah, I saw our, uh, our friend, uh... Person? At Taco Bell today. Oh, the, really? the one that's a couple. I, I saw the girl. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I told her I'll hang out with her next week. So I'm oh, going to be hanging uh, out with her. D&D with? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to be hanging out with them Tuesday. Oh, thank God I have a break Blitz, you me. never told me how much my, um, uh, my, uh, new gun does. Your new gun? Yeah, my normal pistols do 1d10, so I need to know how much this, uh, musket does. I don't know. You should have looked that up when you were talking to the dwarf. Uh, no. He... What the hell was I looking at? 2 2d8 piercing. 2d8 piercing, okay. Yep. Not bad. This PDF is awesome. I'm oh, yeah, um... What? Yeah, uh, they gave a PDF of the, the Gork Club, like, okay. character sheet stuff, and so, made it so you could edit it at will. Yeah, so what I, I found, you go into Orc Hub and you can generate the character and then download this PDF and input it in so that you can actually hand edit your character sheet and save it on your computer. What? That's on this OneDrive what we've been thing? using. That's that OneDrive thing, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Everything, everything works. Even check boxes and shit. That's what I've. That's been what I've using. been using. Yeah. Well, I mean, I use OrcPub, and it auto puts it in for me. Oh, I don't know what this, that is. I've. Yeah, I just, we've just I used just that. use. OrcPub's a website that you just. Uh, uh, what I do is I yeah. usually just, I'll uh, make my class in their custom classes and mm -hmm. and their custom uh, races, mm -hmm. and they'll just auto generate all the stats and stuff for you. Hmm. So you don't have to put in, indiv in everything in it individually, oh, but okay, I have that's... to edit things and add weapons. It doesn't allow custom weapons, so with this I can add in my custom weapons and all that. Oh, I that's mean, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Orpub will eventually have that kind of stuff, but for now, this is a good alternative. Yeah, that's yeah. Like I said, that's what Geb and I have been using. I thought I linked that when we first started, but I guess you guys didn't see that. Yeah, I thought yeah we, we, we good. Thought did, but... We good. <clears throat> Carl, I don't pay too much attention during the D&D &D streams, because, you know, I'm kind of DMing. Nerd. Plug the suggest command. You literally just did. Pay, pay less attention to chat than Bob Ross. Yeah, Carl thinks he's clever. Okay. Uh, is he, is, are we live again? We've been live. Wait, I don't wait, turn the stream off. Wait, are we suggesting games now? No, Ken no, just... just a thing. Yeah, Hen just did that uh, like a week or two ago. So, oh, I I have uh, like a thousand games in my Steam. I should I could suggest you several. Oh God, keep it to a minimum. I yeah, suggest man. all the games. I'll only I suggest at most fifteen at a time. Okay, okay. No God, no. Rob. <laughs> because go. roll twenty. Actually, why did we quit roll twenty? Hey, I don't really. Because I don't feel like putting. I, I think, I think we, we quit we roll spent... twenty because we we didn't end up doing Minds of Fandelver, so there's no point in going to it if we're not well, doing Minds of Fandelver. And the um, the, like we spent so much time dicking around with the graphic interface and everything yeah. rather than just doing the story. Yeah, yeah, I mean, realistically, with this, you guys can't like mess around and like you know, pretty much. Well, I didn't mess. I think I think most of the messing around was by one guilty individual. But... One person. The hen. The hen. The one who kept drawing on it every five seconds. <laughs> the hen. The one on the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, so bottom guys, we <laughs> are back. I hope you guys are back, too. Are you guys ready for some more incredible D&D &D of whatever it was no. that... Did you guys just... Did you guys head out afterwards? What? Like, no. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You, did you guys leave the shop? Right? Well, no, you can't. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we were waiting for him to finish his ritual. Yeah, we're waiting for a day to finish his meditation binding thing. Okay. Well, the binding of day? The dwarf walks up to he's like, I, I think he's trying to summon a demon. <laughs> well, that, uh, <laughs> that'd no, be interesting since he is a demon. Throw me some pizza. Well, Katie just opens one eye and then points, and his minion just pops up next to him. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Okay, uh, that's cool. That's that's great. I'm I'm fucking retiring. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Um, anyway, so yeah, we're we're back in. Yes, Mexican Jesus is Jesus. Um, oh so, God. <laughs> yeah. So you have finished your you have finished your attunement ritual to your brand new spiffy great axe. Uh, Yay! Let's see what else? So I'll just do a quick recap. Uh, great axe. Gumi got a a ironwork rifle. Hen got Ooh. a dagger. No, what? A, no, a forge. I, That's right. A full blown like fucking yeah forge that I can't even use yet because I need to know a word. Yeah, and, and I got a backup <coughs> spell book. How am I supposed to find the word? If maybe asking a powerful wizard would be able to help. He's you supposed to find what the word? There, it's one of it's a it's a portal. Yeah, yeah, sword. <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> Iramir, have you tried the word bird? Because and it just bird. It just is thoom, the word. and pops well, open. Well, bird, bird, bird. bird is the word. The, well, bird, the, uh, bird, the bird large. What's what's good about that joke is that they keep referencing it in later episodes. The, I know. So uh, yeah, as you said, bird, the forge popped open, and <laughs> you you now have a large, full brazen forge sitting on the ground of this place. Peter Peter Griffin comes out and he go and he just starts singing and dancing. <laughs> end. <laughs> oh god. Uh, hey, end. How's it going? <laughs> you people. Okay. Um. But oh, yeah, was no. Catching the stream. Huh? Yeah, instrument is catching the stream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys are done, and I guess you guys are leaving out of here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The dwarf goes. All right. Uh, come again, or don't. Well, I mean, I don't someone has to pick up my bag. Don't leave me behind, guys. Please. Katie, pick up the bag. Wait, just to be clear, the bird was not the word, right? <laughs> no, bird was the word. <laughs> bird was the word. And bird is always the word. Do I need to so sing the song Ed... again in my orc voice? <laughs> so, so, so just remember, Ed, whenever you see a bird, don't say anything about it, because you'll end up accidentally activating your forge. Well, I mean, it is in your bag of holding, but yeah. You don't want to lose it's all the pieces. Just say just say bird, and you just it'll pop up in the in the in the bag. And you won't even know. Bird. Oh God! You know, suddenly I accidentally crush someone with a forge that just appears in the middle of the air. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> he takes one d twelve forge damage now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> one d twelve. One d okay. 30. Sorry, ten d ten forge damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's, that's like 10. Of... Okay. Um... Oh, shit, no, right. That could be up to 100. Holy crap. That could be up to 100, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You one-shot the next boss. No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually an idea. We can, we can drop the forge. You say bird, and the forge will crush the boss. <laughs> drop the forge. We, we can, <laughs> we can actually, that could actually be a strategy. Anyway. Yeah, why not? Anyway. Just from now on... Get rid of your weapons. We're just going to lob shit at things. I can just imagine you getting multiple of them and you going, bird, 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 <laughs> as you're throwing forges. <laughs> you could say I uh, flipped the bird at that guy, huh? Uh. Okay, so we're going to keep going? Uh, yeah, oh. I guess so. Um, okay, I am just trying to see. Oh, God, there is some terrifying things in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to rescale that. Okay, so yeah, so as you go, you you walk out and find there goes. Oh, uh, seems you've found some things that are useful, huh? That's, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, are you gonna yeah. go help that diplomat? He's he stood around for a little while and kept begging for our help. It was it was actually kind of pitiful. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, then there you go. Uh, you make your way for the town of Munich. And wait, 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 why is it called Munich? That was the question I had originally. Huh? Like, wh why Munich? It is, it's just the town name. Oh. I mean, are they German? For most of these, I just use the fucking Don John name uh, randomizer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You you left it anvil crushing? Yes, it's uh. Oh, dear God, Carl, come on. No, no, what? no, too soon. What? You what know, you... with Carrie dead, I guess Han really is solo now. Uh, too soon! Uh, she died uh, like yesterday! Too soon! 
Anyway, okay, so uh, well, can someone... te- technically Han Solo isn't exactly doing too hot himself. He's no. alive. He better fucking stay alive. No, Han Solo. <laughs> oh, Han's dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't time out Carl. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, can't time out a. Yeah, you can't time him out because he's a mod. Only only Woods can time him out. Only Woods can demod him multiple times over and over again. No, which is the payback. I, did the, I, only did, I already did that to one person. That's not happening again. Uh, what? Jesus. Yeah, spoiler. Some people haven't seen the Star Wars movie yet. Oh, my God. I mean, it's been a year. It's been a if, year. If it hasn't been spoiled for you, oh, it's, it's... Has it? Yeah. yeah. Harambe, no. Yeah, it came out last Christmas. Bad, it's, bad gorilla. It's uh, it's it's Henzoid so, Harambe. Um, so, 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 are we gonna are we gonna help? I guess so. Yeah, that's that's up help? to you guys. I mean, you could sit here for the end of the, till the end of the campaign, but not much exciting things will happen. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna sit here. Let's just sit on we're the damn couch. Yeah, let's, let's just relax here. You know, maybe yeah. we can get a job, settle down, have some kids, have some kids. All right, have, get, open get up a shop. The, uh, we can finally uh, deliver oh, pizzas. Okay. Years what? have kids get them stolen, not give a shit because we're not doing adventuring anymore. Years What's later, the, uh... Hensoid and uh, Day have a gr- big group of kids and they settle down in a nice little house. And then there, and there's Gab, and he's just sitting there, and it's a bunch of zombie How puppies just God's running around. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> do what? That eye thing you just did. <laughs> you just made one of your eye. God, that's fucking weird. <laughs> That's fucking weird, dude. Uh... <laughs> no, I got hey, a cigar. Are you no, I got a cigar. Oh, okay, oh. that's fine. That's a uh, tiny cigar. Okay. So, anyways, you you make your way for the town of Munich. It is a sleepy little town nestled in what? What does that say? Dubelor. Any of that? What that says? <laughs> um. <laughs> you yeah. missed days. I, I missed days um, too, and. I miss them too. Everyone misses day. <sighs> I don't know if day streams. No, no day stream. Uh, so yeah, it's a sleepy little town up towards more towards the mountains. There, it's somewhat snowy. It's surrounded by large forests, and there is a very large and secluded pathway that you uh, have to get to. You spend the whole day getting there, and you finally arrive at the town of Munich. And yes, there is a Germanic influence in it. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think we should do? You you look around. Uh, there's a few there's a few <clears throat> small streets jutting off of Main Street. It's a very little town. Maybe five hundred people live in it in total. You can see a tavern sitting co- somewhat close to the center of town. There is a large townhouse to the side of it. Looks somewhat like a town hall, and there are a few different shops dotting it, and just people kind of walking around in huddled, frozen clothing. Well, I think either. Town hall, because like the mayor or whatever might know, but there's also the tavern where the barkeep and all that probably has heard a lot of stuff. That's so, do we want to split up? Split up and look for clues. And have like ha- half go to wherever, half go to wherever. That's a good think- idea, Raggy. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna I think I'll be Shaggy and uh, Cadian can be Scoob and we can go. Uh, <laughs> I'll go be a Scoob. Like, I'll be I'll be I'll be Velma. You'll be Velma, okay? Like Zoinks, Cade. Got it, Brad. Come on. Okay, so I'm my gonna glasses. go to the glasses. Can't find my glasses. I'm gonna go to the barkeep and see. Uh, yeah. Yep. And see what's going on. All right. So you you're walking into the bar and you can see that there. Uh, a few people dressed in somewhat menacing clothing, kind of sitting in the back. They're all kind of huddled playing a game of poker and not doing much. Kind of drinking there. A few other people sitting at the bar, and then there's just the barkeep that's standing there. It's a, uh, relatively tall for their race dwarf, and he's sitting there just brushing glasses and keeping the place clean. I think I'll talk to the barkeep first. Okay. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna what, go up to What do you have? I, I have a question for you, sir. Uh, that depends on what it is you're trying to ask. Uh, we've been hearing a little bit of stuff about some kids being kidnapped. Shh. I'm sorry. We, we've been hearing about some uh, kids being kidnapped. He, Can you, he kinda, uh... He kind of looks around for a second and he goes, What have you heard? Alright, that's what we're trying to find out. We've been sitting here to help some kids. Oh, 
were you were you sent by that by that uh oh were you sent by that accountant uh fat little dude yeah yeah oh i know he should have kept his mouth shut uh i don't know what it is you're trying to accomplish here but i think that you should go back to neverwinter no there, there's kids there's kids man there's Look. money we gotta help the kids, and there is was something exploding in my house. How did he know where we were from? Terrifying. Wait, are we all what? just waiting outside for you to, to I, interrogate this person? None of you guys said anything, so I don't know. Hey, how'd you know we were from Neverwinter? Wait, Hen, you never entered the I'm place. I'm not from Neverwinter. Geb went in on his own. Yeah, I just went in. Yeah, Geb went in. You, you have to say you're going in, because you're a minotaur. You will track Yeah, I mean, this is, you gotta remember, this is like a... <laughs> this is a town, like, in the snow... I mean, it's not really built for seven, eight-foot-tall cows with giant horns, so... Yeah, I mean, they're already, be, like, looking at this giant bear that just wandered in. <laughs> freaking, <laughs> freaking... My size, you guys. I love, I love Jacob. He's the kidnapper. He's a pedophile. <laughs> so, wait, wait. I, I just want to clarify something. Hen, you're, like, an eight-foot-tall minotaur. Geb, you're, like, a nine-foot... Seven No, 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 no. So, yeah, an no, eight-foot-tall like... minotaur. I'm like six, six, five, six and a half. Okay, you're a six, five panda bear. I'm yeah. like a six, eight, half orc. And then we have this little slime girl that's riding on your shoulder. We're like giants with no, this no, one little No, no, slime bag. girl is in the, in the back. I'm, I'm like, in my bag. I'm chilling. Oh. I don't know what's going on out here. The, the dwarf kind of, <laughs> the dwarf sits there and says, are you an anime party? <laughs> <laughs> are you a bunch of weebs? Okay. Anime, what's the regret? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll listen here. Uh, you're here for the convention. You're yeah. in the right place. I'm just saying, you guys should probably get back to where you came from. They're kids. That let let us deal with the kids, okay? We we don't need your help. Uh, what, what does that mean? Let us I'm deal with the kids. We will. We're trying to find the kids ourselves. Let us deal with it. Let us handle our own, and you guys just go back to wherever you came from. But I I, I like kids. I'm gonna help you. That's let, weird. Let me help you. Yeah. You 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 made it weird. You have to go there. <laughs> so uh, look, can we? Can oh we, my god! Can I join you. What? Jacob, chill. Night. God damn it! I, I forgot about that. Halo. You're I gonna clicked have to, it. Yeah, you're I getting, clicked it too. You're gonna have to get rid of that. <laughs> that that hen hen made that command. Don't hen, yell at me. Hen, delete it. <laughs> delete the command. <laughs> delete it, or I delete you. <laughs> Okay. Um, God damn it! I've typed that man so many times. As uh, he's he just keeps he's adamant about it. Ah, uh, look, I will deal with it. Don't worry about it. Just is if you okay. want, if you want to buy a drink, I can get you. But don't worry about it. I I'm just gonna yell to the room. Does anybody know anything about the kids being kidnapped? There's there's, <laughs> there's like they're not. He's not gonna like that you did that. There's like two other people sitting at a table kind of in the far corner. They just kind of like hear that and like, oh, oh. and they just keep huddling back to themselves. And then the the ban the the guys sitting over there that look kind of like freaking bandits, uh, they're just laughing and having fun. They don't even notice you. Uh, I'm going to walk over to the bandits. Okay. I'm going to be like, hey, so... Foul looking bandit long. people. Can you uh can you let me know? Do you know anything about the uh, kidnapped children? Uh what? Just just, just, just kids being kidnapped. Uh you're, so, you're, was your you're, last lover. Hold on, you're gonna have to start again. You're a bear. <laughs> <laughs> and you're talking to me. I'm, I'm, like, a, I'm a little weirded out. Why right you gotta race into this, bandits? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me let me get into your feeble little mind. Hold on, hold on. I like honey. Honey real good. <laughs> Who like honey? We're having a good mood, so oh, I'm going to let that one slide. But you're still a talking bear. It's weird. <laughs> it's, now, it's okay. What it's, are you, it's what are you your talking drink. about I'm having actually, kids? I'm actually an elf. Was, oh, oh. <laughs> so there's kids being kidnapped. Do you, do you know anything? I have no idea what you're talking about. We are just, we're just traveling through. We're just trying to, we're just trying to sit and have a good night. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> yes, that is exactly it, Carl. <laughs> god damn it i go thanks thanks for being enormously helpful this town sucks 
And I walk out flipping all of them off. Wow, that guy was an asshole. <laughs> I walk over to, to the party and I'm just like, all right, your guys' turn. This town sucks. All right. Uh, g- okay. Gumi pops out of her bag. As you guys are goes... kind of sitting there. Um, do, oh, that's say? a good question. Gumi, do you have any, like, protection from the cold? Oh, my God. You have to fucking look at at Vortex's picture. I love everything about this. Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. my God. Okay. That's I the... love it. Look, straight up. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is my... beautiful. Oh. I wasn't, that is beautiful. I wasn't going to put pictures up on the stream, but just for people watching afterwards. Oh my god, you oh need god. to. Everyone needs to look okay, at this picture. No. Would see. You need to like edit that picture and put each of those icons next to our webcam images. That well, be, I mean, I'm I having. Will, I'm, I'm actually getting a commission from PK done Saturday, I will and that'll that. be the official art okay. for my character. But I, I I'm. Yeah, that's, that, that's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I'm in love with the Gab one. Vortex, I love Gab. His mouth. Vortex, if Gab you can by chance, best. like, send me the each individual copy so I can put it up on there. That'd be awesome. But either way, that's it, fucking amazing. No, that has to be the... That's that's going to be the uh, the thumbnail now, right? It could be. Uh, yeah, have that be the thumbnail from now on. Yes. Could, yeah. yeah, if you could stretch yeah, that a, to a 1920 by 1080, I'll do it too if you don't want. But That, yeah. should, be, that should be the thumbnail. Oh, you can't hear. Okay. What's the aspect ratio you need it to be? I'll tell. I'll tell. T- 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 69 I'll, or, you know, uh, 1920. 69, 69, plus 69, 69. Oh, 16 amazing. by 9. So what aspect ratio does it need to be? That's fucking 16 by 9, 69. right? Standard, like, HD now it is. Yeah, uh, standard YouTube thumbnail is 12, uh, 1280 by 720. I use, I use 1920 by 1080. It's the same yeah, ratio, yeah, but it yeah. It works the same thing. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Yes. That that is beautiful looking. Okay, so anyways, aside from the fact that we now saw our party in all of its glory, um Okay, so as you guys are sitting there in the party, the diplomat that initially was helping you walks out. Oh, oh, you're here! Oh my god, you're here! And he freaks out and he jumps up and he runs up over to you. Oh, thank you so much! And he hug and he sits there and he just tries to hug you, Cadian, as much as he can. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. Oh, thank God, we have been having a lot of help. And I, uh, oh, oh yeah, you you still look terrifying. And he kind of backs off. All right. <laughs> no, no, I'm just like wait, 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 wait. Before all, before the picture, you said something about cold. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, since you're a slime, is there any type of cold resistance? Do you have, like, clothes on, or...? Well, I have clothes I, I could wear. It, is it, like, cold in the... the yeah, it's, I mean, an it's, internal it's, orgasm. Yep. I mean, it's snowing. It is pretty damn cold, and you are fluid, so... Oh! I'm just trying to make I, sure I'm that you don't freeze. Viscous, I don't freeze over. Yeah. But I do, I, I mean, I don't have, like, eternal body heat, so I do kind of slow significantly in the snow. Okay, that's true. Okay. I'm, I'm not, yeah, but I'm know, not, I'm not I'm a not consistency gonna... that would freeze over. Okay, I'm not going to, like, you know, you... damage you or anything in the snow. I was just wondering. Yeah, but no, I'm slower unless I'm wearing clothes, so I guess I might as well put, I put on my uh, gunslinger clothes if it's okay. that cold. Consider him made of something like alcohol. Okay, I mean, I guess that could work, yeah. I guess more like gelatinous alcohol. Maybe. Right, well, Gumi will put on her uh, gunslinger attire then. Oh God! Don't, go. don't say th- don't say that. Caden will try and drink Gumi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, gelatinous miasmic alcohol. <laughs> it's look, she's a jug of poison. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, he sits there. Oh, thank God! Oh, you guys are here. I am so happy. Oh my God! Uh, did did find there send you? Mm. Why, are you, why are you? Yes. You guys, you guys look really familiar. Why are you here again? And he's just kind of like looking off, like kids. Ah. Kids. No. <laughs> Take it no, over. How much I haven't. I like we're that, here too. for kids. No, I, I haven't had the fortune <laughs> of the kids. That oh, sounds better. Oh, yeah, kids, we're here we for have, kids. <laughs> oh, we have an orphanage, but there's no kids left in the orphanage. Um. They all got stolen. Stolen. They missing. Missing. Uh, a few... Th- oh, that's right! You were helping me with that! Oh, thank God! Okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Have you talked with the barkeep yet? Yes. He was unhelpful. He was a oh. douche. I oh. can try talking to the barkeep. He was suspicious. 
Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. Here, come on, come on into, come on into my place, and we'll we'll talk for a bit. The uh, the a big townhouse that looks somewhat like a town hall. He's like, here, please come on. And he motions all you guys in here. Oh, we, we go got. On. Okay. Are you, are Unrelated. You guys okay. There are two. Res there are officially two responses to the game suggestion thing. Oh, cool. Um, are both of them memes? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> You really want a pedophile in here, don't you, Jacob? Um, what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you reading chat? But um, he's learning Enzoid in his basement. Enzoid's an eight foot tall Enzoid, cow. I don't know about that. But okay, so anyways, so he he sits there. He's like, oh, oh, thank you. I can I can go get our town leader. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And he um he kind of just disappears off into another room for a second. Day, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm kind of confused as to what's happening as well. <laughs> I was wondering. Okay. So as as he walks on in and uh, he comes back out and you hear a large thump, thump, thump. And a very, very large man, someone almost as big as uh, Hen, a large human walks in. Very gigantic, burly man. You're like seven Wait, foot something? Human? Yes. Yeah. He's a seven That's foot a tall, tall ass human. human. He is, seven foot something. He is a gigantic man. He looks like someone who like wrestled it's bears. Like a, is he like Hagrid life. from Harry Potter, who's like half giant? More or less, yeah. Yeah, but he walks in. and He looks at you. Hmm. So you're you're the ones that they sent, huh? Hmm. I think mm -hmm. I can do with this. And he kind of sits down in this massive armchair. And he sits there. He's, all right, I didn't want to say it in front of the rest of the in any of the townspeople that could hear. They're they're still a little on edge. So, what happened was about a year ago, this town used to have, sadly, a very large and very populous orphanage. Oh God, where'd Geb go? Sadly, Geb. why is it so? Oh, Geb. Well, Did we lose Geb. Geb. Geb Gebinson. What did we Gab use Gab? Has fallen and he can't get up. <laughs> Gab has fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. So it got life alert now. Yeah. Um we're, yeah, we're he's down to Gab from FMA, okay. I don't know, I guess he's just gonna have to lose the uh description on here. <laughs> so <laughs> No, it's sad because there were a lot of orphans in this town. This was kind of a haven for all the other outlying towns for all the orphans. They, uh, they'd come here. Unfortunately, there was a lot of people who were either losing their parents or they just didn't want the kids anymore. Anyway, that's besides the story. The fact is there was a very, very large orphanage. And uh, over the past year, they've been disappearing. They've been disappearing. Mm. They, there are mumbles, although I don't exactly know what it is that's going on. Oh, jeez. Geb, be okay. <laughs> yeah, Geb's fine. <laughs> Geb's fine? No, there, there's, a, there's a fire, like, a couple houses down, so that's Jesus. all. Jesus. Why? When? Where? I have no idea. It's on the the Facebook page, if you're oh. on our... No. Yeah, there's, like, a house on fire. And... Yeah, fuck our town. Uh, that's fine. It literally, they show a picture, and it's literally, here's a house, and it, it's engulfed in flames. I'm like, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wait. <laughs> That's happening now, right outside your yeah. house. What? I, I, it wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if somebody incredibly Ooh. dumb just set their own house on fire. It's a little. You live in Florida, dumb. after all. All the crazies seem to live there. Oh yeah, we. So do. there's a flaming house do, window. Floridians do some stupid stuff. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I, I watch this YouTuber channel, and I swear they go through all the like craziest headlines. Ninety percent of them are from people from Florida. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I, I resemble that remark. Stupid shit, like vote for Trump. That's sad. <coughs> yeah, for what you just said too, Hensoid. But yeah, that's too bad. The house is on fire. Was it the assholes or no? No, that would have been hilarious. But yeah, that's right been. next to me, so that would suck. Oh uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Why is it getting hot in here? No. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> how come it? How come the air feels very? It smells very smoky. <laughs> is it a barbecue? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so, um, yeah, this very large man is sitting there, and he's like, look, we have no idea why the kids are disappearing. It's a little terrifying. I don't want to see a picture of her right Oh, now. damn. <laughs> Jeez. Damn, actually, oh, yeah, that's... that's 
That's two <laughs> houses down from you. That's a few houses down. Yeah. Well, that that that's, that's a crazy. fire. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. This should be great. Oh, boy. oh, someone posted at the stream so they can get see what we're talking about. I mean, if they. Uh, I have to download that. Actually, can I just? Oh God, no. That I think that's just gonna that's pop up crazy. in the center of the fucking. No, that just messed everything up. Okay. I don't really know how to save that or anything. Yeah, but... yeah. Just link the link the Facebook p- picture. You said it was on Facebook. Yeah, I'll just give it to you on a uh, on the thing. Oh, okay. There you um, go. It's on your Facebook. Okay. Hey, you sent me a message. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's take a look at this fire, I guess. Uh, guys, we're we're going to take a quick 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 fire break because uh, Wait, hold on. I got to I got to step outside my house for a second just make sure we're not like SOL here. No, no, you're good. <laughs> not, really, not really technical difficulties so much as like I just hope that his house doesn't burn down. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, that's a big fucking fire. I know. That's it's a, it's not a small fire. That's a that's in gold and flames. How there you go, that stream. Happen? That uh, that's currently like two houses down from Geb. How does it happen? How does that happen? Dude, it's Florida. I mean, no. But I mean, how does something that big happen? It, dude, it's, it's Florida. Everything's dry as shit, so <laughs> it, it, everything just someone, goes up quick. Did and, someone just Molotov another person? Like, no. People are fucking stupid in this state. <laughs> they they leave like their stoves on and things just catch or there's uh, electrical fires. I mean, it's, it doesn't have to be Hey, Jim, why don't you uh, watch me, you know, juggle these flaming chainsaws, see what happened, you know? Let's right. just hope Gab doesn't burn to death, you know? That would run, suck. Gab, run! The fire <laughs> elementals are coming! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's too bad. That is just... Oof. Mm. Okay. Are you are you good? Has your house burned down or no? Well, he doesn't have firearms, so <laughs> Do you not have arms of fire? Uh Yes, no. Are you good, Geb? Geb. Geb. Geb, I miss you. We need are you, Geb. Are you good? Yes. Okay, I'm back. Are you sure? No. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, we we have the right to remain. We have to, the uh, right to bear bears. firearms. No, we have the <laughs> right to arm bears. We have it in our party. Yeah, that's the shirt. I was gonna say we have... wear a bunch. Wait, wait. If, if, if Geb learns how to have fire, then he would have. Then he has the right to bear firearms. Right to, to arm bears with fire arms. To arm bears with fire. Fire arms, apparently. Thank God. Arm be- arm bears with firearms. <laughs> Um, all right, so are we good, or what? Are you, are you good, Geb? Yeah, it's oh, fine. Gosh. The fire's out, luckily. That's good. Oh. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this this massive hulking beast of a man is sitting there saying, Look, we need you to help find these orphans. We've been looking for six months. We can't find anything. And realistically, none of the town's people are adventurers or fighters. We couldn't go out into the woods at night. There is... There, there's you wolves and everything else. Then go it. Then go in the daytime. That's not the point. The point is, we're not fighters. If we come up against something we can't fight, I, I don't want to lose any more people than we already lost. There used to. All be, right, let's go kill. Let's there go used fight. to be lots of kids in this city and or in this town, and now they're all close to none. And um, is there is there is there any like tells every time they disappear? Like, is there anything that specifically happens? Anything left behind? The... Yeah, let's let's just roll a like smartness and patterns well, check. Let's, let's ask. There let's is an investigation skill. But... An intelligence investigation. <laughs> a smartness check. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my smartness is at nine. So shut up. <laughs> Yeah, so he's not much are trying to be smart. He's a puppy dog of the party. It's, it's, it's okay. Hen, Hen is just role playing. It's fine. <laughs> I'm all brawn and no brains. <laughs> he, uh... Seriously, my attack is 19. <laughs> my strength is 19. Yeah, so is mine. My okay. intelligence is like 16, so. Yes, his, Mine's at his 15, smart ally. I think. Yeah, okay. mine is at just 9. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, he, he gets up and he, he starts <sighs> towards the door and he walks out and he's... Just, yeah, I just I just don't want to keep losing all the people in this town. We're known for our hospitality and our and our orphanage taking in all the you know the stray kids and whatnot. I just I just don't want to lose these kids. They feel almost like almost like they're my kids. You know, I I always where, stop by and take care of them. And he um, where do you, where do you think we should start, sir? Hmm. Well, uh, it depends. Any it's, shady keto ish guys? It depends. <laughs> no, we ran them out already. Uh, <laughs> There, well, that's just a stereotype. There are you got whis- any shady people? And he points to the first black guy he sees. See, shady. <laughs> he is black. Are there Get any it? black people? Get I have it? not Get heard of a single black really person in the whole shade? campaign. He's a, he's a large. The, the DM's look, racist for not having any black, black man. Okay. <laughs> you guys didn't do a perception check on him. He didn't notice he was black. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's because we don't we don't uh stereotype we don't sit and look at the yeah, notice their we, we, color. we don't see color we just see people in D D, you always stereotype no uh okay so yeah he's he's walking out there and he i guess he he pulls you guys out there with him and there you can see that there are kind of like a few kids kind of huddled near the townhouse and they're kind of sitting there and he he's bending down and talking to him and whatnot he has this small little red bag that he pulls out and he pulls candy out of it and is giving it to him. He's like, look, uh, I just, uh, just want to make sure the kids are okay, okay? I just want to make sure they're that's safe. That's not strange at all. <laughs> He's... Somebody gives candy to a kid and immediately it's like, rapist! Yeah, like, <laughs> fucking... Uh, us, well, us all, people... All people all missing, you know? Us people jump to... us uh, People nowadays jump to... to to uh, conclusions too easily for pedophiles and things could also just be a dude who's looking out for his town, you know. Yeah, but with the SJW squad. Yeah, well, we're not going to talk about the SJWs. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, they, he says he wants me to summon a snake to guard the kids. I, if I don't know if you want to, I mean, I, su- I summon a I summon a bunny, and if anybody goes near it and wants it harm, it turns into a, a ravenous like monster made of just teeth. Okay, that's a that's a level ten spell. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Ashabalapa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is how you just summon Cthulhu. No. Um... <laughs> wow, I think we have bigger problems than children now. Yep. Cthulhu okay. and power armor. Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> should, should we? I didn't. Th- I didn't think about this. Hmm. Should we ask the kids? We don't know where the kids are. The kids but are... we're standing in front of some kids. Oh, that's are what I'm we... saying. Like, d- have the kids noticed? Like, hey, there's a creepy dude coming by. Kids. You can like, ask them if you want. I mean, aside from the guy who just gave them candy, is there any other creepy dudes? I, I go. I go. Uh, who's? Who's like the least creepiest, out, creepy out of us? And they just kind of sit there, like looking up at you, and and they don't talk. Oh, anything. oh, oh! I know. I go up to the kids and go, "Hi, kids! I'm a teddy bear. I love them." Um, they're they're kind of shuddering at this point. <laughs> Get the fuck I, I away from go, them! I just go, "Hey, kids! Is there like any any weird adults you've seen lately, other than other than us here, that?" <laughs> That like, you've noticed are a little mm. bit weird around kids. One of uh, one one of the kids kind of like looks at the at the the town leader for a second. And he kind of nods like it's it's okay. You can you can talk if you want. And he it's okay. He's a big cuddly bear. And he um, <laughs> are you not rotting? No, Geb isn't the undead one. That's day. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not rotting. We're yeah. keeping Katie. We're keeping Katie at bay so he doesn't scare the children. <laughs> There's a pungent odor. No, uh... <laughs> there actually would be, but okay. I, it probably would be, yeah. But no, the, the kid kind of... No, no, no. His... You forget, Gumi carries around uh, this nice big can of Febreze around and she constantly sprays <laughs> the kid in with. What's Febreze? No, what, um... So, <laughs> so yeah, he... he uh, the kid kind of sits there and like, well, well, I don't... I don't know if I should... I don't know if I should say anything, but, um... Uh... Uh, I I don't know I I shouldn't say anything I don't I don't know anything. Um, no no, no it's, okay. Know. it's okay it's it's okay. Remember you guys what they did. Remember you guys do have persuasion skills too. Oh that's right thank you thank you I'm gonna roll for uh, persuasion. Go for it. Uh what what is uh what is persuasion? You have the character sheet not me. 
Actually, there are uh, the character sheet sitting around alone. Persuasion is charisma. Yep. So oh, I suck. My my uh, persuasion is negative one. You are not persuading these kids, you sicko. Sixteen <laughs> plus six. Plus five, I'm sorry. Okay, so you yeah. are a very persuasive talker there. I I have like constitution, dexterity, and strength is like absolute minimum, but all of the wisdom, intelligence, and charisma is high. I'm the opposite of you. Okay. I do have, I've always had a question about people who practice necromancy. Mm. Do they like does it like alter them? Because it's like such an evil like magic. You would think no, it's so. not. It's it's not. Or is it just at like least for, at least for no me? Outside for being oh, somebody who hello. raises zombies. Thanks for the well, uh, thanks for the race uh, raid fractured worlds. I don't know who that is, but thank you. Oh, thank you. There's person. a lot of people popping up. <laughs> wow. Hello. Jesus. Oh wow! Holy shit! Thank you. Much <laughs> love from Guardians as well. I saw. From where? Much Guardians. love from Fractured Worlds. Fractured Worlds. Hello. From Somalia. Fractured Worlds. <laughs> from Somalia. Oh, hello. <laughs> Holy Christ! Okay. I don't see what the viewer. Okay, that's interesting. Thank, thank you for anyone who uh for who rated us. <laughs> Holy Jesus! <laughs> oh, people keep coming. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, no, Guardians. Uh, the <coughs> necromancy, it depends on World what from you John are. John Sandman's channel. Okay. I don't know who that is, but thank you, John. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Okay, so, so, like, I'm, I'm more of, like, a bridge between life and death, so I kind of learn a bit of about death and kind of, like, are learning about it, not necessarily being evil about it. Mm, okay. Just like helping reviving people and transferring willing uh, like life force from one to another to help people and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So it's more like a good good side of it, not the evil side. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So that's you're, why you're... I'm not like gross rotting monster. I'm just like so you know you're bouncing back and forth more or less. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's cool. Um. Alrighty then. So I guess since that's all explained and whatnot, right over. Yeah, yeah, right over. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> um, well, uh, <laughs> well, thank you, John Sandman. Uh, so the kids kind of sit up there and they they stare at you. And they're like, well, well, there is um, there, there's this one boy that's he's a he's a little odd. He's he uh, always kind of hangs. Oh, so many odd people. He hangs around at the back of the orphanage. Um, but he, uh, we, don't, we don't really talk to him. He's... Oh, shit, 250 viewers. Hello. What? Hello. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, well, my friend. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. That. Thank you, Fractured Worlds, and much love oh from the Wood yeah. and everyone else. <laughs> um, damn. We can't get so distracted. Come on, let's keep going. I just want to let you guys know. Uh, 388 viewers. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that this is a D ongoing D and D campaign that's going on every Thursday at 7 p.m. or well, 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And which he also likes to do Binding of Isaac, Rogue Lights, yeah. things like that. Yeah, I have the my YouTube channel down below where all the vods of this will show up if you'd like to see that. That's cool. Awesome. All right. All right. But uh, so yeah, right. so. Anyways, I guess this um, the this so there's kid... a there's, there's a creepy it's a creepy like dude or a kid no, no child he said he's a it's oh like another kid <laughs> I was like there's a creepy dude sitting in the back of this orphanage what the <laughs> hell <laughs> <laughs> great it's the Babadook no uh so <laughs> so it's like what the hell is happening yeah so this this uh this kid he's sitting in um yeah he we don't no one really knows his name he doesn't talk but he always he always has this weird look about him and yeah i don't i don't know he, he i i said too much i can't say anything else and he kind of like goes back and like just eats the candy that he was playing with so let's go to the orphanage and see this creepy man child let's go to the orphanage orphanage oh well, i didn't say it was okay. a man child that'd be horrifying oh. I know, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Follow. That's our only lead so far. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's go. Go for it. 
Oh, Jesus. Vortex, you were sending me everything. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the pictures, Vortex. Okay. Sit, sit, well, send well, some uh, of those to me. Show I us more pictures. Hmm? Just put, put them in the Skype chat later. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the, um, yeah, the, the kid kind of just, like, looks off at you guys as you oh kind of tread on off towards the orphanage. The, the town leader, he kind of goes, ah, do you know where the orphanage is? Uh, 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 oh, God, no. Did someone ask? I didn't even nope, think no one asked. Okay. Yeah. Kids, kids, where's the orphanage? Uh, <laughs> why, why, why didn't we ask uh, them, this, this guy? <laughs> yeah, let's ask random stranger guy. Hey, hey, random dude. Um, oh, oh, bear talking. <laughs> and he runs off. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> no. Um, okay. And the kid. Why the won't kids, you love me? The kids kind of point you off in a direction. It's like ah, uh, uh, that way. And he they point off towards like near towards the end of the main. Uh, the no. Uh, Witsy is the dude in the center. Is the GM. Uh, yeah, they point. He they point off like towards the end of Main Street, and you can you can kind of see a large building near the end of it. Uh, lar large has columns sitting out in front of it, and it is it looks like a mansion straight up. It just looks like a gigantic mansion at the end of Main Street. Large gate sitting around it, and you can see that there's a few little kids playing around by the gate and sitting there, not doing too much. Uh, whatever they can in the snow there's a few small fires sitting out there in the uh in the yard so that they can kind of stay warm and everything uh who who should we send in i mean we need katie and to like not go in to <laughs> yeah that, that's the one person who should not Jesus step foot inside Christ, that's me. what katie why don't oh you my stay God. here? I, I have a treat for that. you. you stay here. That, was, that was the most horrific pedophile face I've ever seen. <laughs> oh fucking day! I didn't see the face, so I don't know. I I, I totally right, you missed don't, that. You don't want so, to see the face. Don't don't worry. So he stays in That's there. Horrifying. I'm going to pull out my Winnie the Pooh Bear shirt and I'm going to put it on. Oh my god! And and here's my funny part. You're not, I know. You're, you're not a yellow bear. You're a panda. <laughs> Close enough. I'm his. I'm his Asian relative. Let's go in. Uh, That's his Asian relative. Technically not wrong, but let's not be <laughs> offensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, All right. So I guess you guys have. Um, are you guys going to be heading up to the orphanage, checking it out and whatnot? Yeah, I think we should go yeah. up there. Okay. Maybe we should yeah. have Katian though Katie stay staying back. outside though. I already gave him a treat for him to stay outside. And God, does he look pretty? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna pull my weenie, Rombe. But you know what? what we should do? We should give Katie a mask. We should get him like a, like a rubber mask he wears when he's in public, so people can't see that he's at the Cade Ogre Corpse. <laughs> Thanks everyone for chilling. By the way. <laughs> okay, uh. so. Let's, uh, I think let's go in and let's try and find that one yep. kid. Huh? Let's try and, uh, go in the back and find that kid. Okay. Uh, as you're, you're walking through the yard and you can, you see a bunch of, you know, there, there are a few, there are a good 15, 20 different kids kind of playing in the yard, playing around the fire, playing with small balls and just, you know, trying to do what they can just in the, uh, with, the winter. Just playing with balls. Playing no, with what? You're the only one it's that thinks that, Hen. It's necessary. We're... Yeah. We're we're in an orphanage. Let's keep it like rated Let's keep G. it PG. Thank you. Let's I thought keep it Gab G was the right one now. who played with balls. Let's yeah. Let's keep it G. Let's let's have it like these kids are actually watching the stream. All right. <laughs> Run! Get out now. Okay. So okay. so there's a guy in the back, right? Uh, you haven't even entered the orphanage yet. <laughs> I, I told you I, you were in the you you're in the yard walking through walking up to the front door. Oh, oh, oh uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, Instead of PG, PG keep it PK. PK. Yes. <laughs> um, in the next one, I'll put the chat on screen so you guys can see what the hell's going on. <laughs> but yeah. but uh, okay, so you guys you uh, walk up. There's this gigantic, large, ornate double doors <laughs> that are sitting there. Um, and one of them is, it's slightly cracked open just a little bit. You can see kids every now and then, like, one will run in real quick or run out. And they're, they're all playing, they're having fun. 
just enjoying themselves. King of Troopers. King of oh, Troopers. God. <laughs> yeah, I read that too. Uh, <laughs> all right, so are you guys going to be heading okay. in? What you doing? I'm going to um, head in. I'll, I'll, I'll let, I'll let heading, Gab take I'm the lead on in. this one. Okay. You're heading. You're... I, 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 I start to head in. <laughs> oh, Jesus, no. Kaden, yeah. I gave you a treat. <laughs> Bad Kaden. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, so don't let me get the spray bottle. Caden, Caden walked. <laughs> okay, the rotting so... orc is going in first. All oh, right. Oh boy. All right. So as uh, <laughs> as he open as you open up the door and you walk on in, brrr, the large doors creak open and thud, and you can see uh, as you walk in, there's a small what looks to be kind of like an office area. It's kind of like a receptionist area that you can check into, and uh, there's a there's an older woman kind of sitting behind the counter saying, oh, oh, we have visitors. Oh, perhaps one of... And she stops and she just looks at Katie and like, oh, my dearie, you're... You're... Oh, oh, my God. Are, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing this dripping, like this, this decaying orc walking in. Um, oh. Uh, you... Are, are you are you okay, dearie? What's what's your name? Caden. Uh, oh, <laughs> comedic timing. Are you here to adopt a child? Hopefully not. No. If adopt means eat. Uh, we like children. That's, <laughs> Jesus. that's nice. Um, that's good. <laughs> Uh, Gooby makes a quick entrance and <laughs> tries to tries to defuse the situation. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, sorry. This is this is uh, Cadian. He's uh, he he has some issues. Um, so <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Uh, hi, we're here to talk to the uh, orphans about the situation that's been going on. Oh, uh, situation. I don't. I don't know of any situation, but oh, you're, you're welcome to talk to the kids if you'd like. Okay, okay thank you. In her town and asking questions. Hmm? What? I, she's, she's shady. Pin her down and ask more questions. Um, that, wait, what? I can Gumi what you. Do I'm sitting right like here, a, you know. I don't appreciate that. Gumi pulls out like a little like paper, like a little like clock bag and puts it over Katie's head with two holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's less scary. No, no, no. Just, uh, just put a cloth. Just put like a blanket over him, and he'll think it's uh, night and fall asleep. As long as he, <laughs> as long as he just stays like somewhat away from the kids, it'll be fine. Uh, don't worry, he's not allowed thirty feet near any children, anyways. <laughs> Court ordered, hopefully. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so yeah, I Get guess. Out, oh my god! Okay. <laughs> You people. Oh. So, uh, what are you guys doing here, anyway? Well, there's apparently some, uh, some, some guy stealing kids. I, uh, I, I don't find out. remember seeing any guys stealing kids, but I, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, my memory escapes me. Yeah, you're talking about the missing children, aren't you? Oh, I was about to say, like, man, you're terrible at your job. <laughs> I haven't noticed 30 disappeared this month. No, uh. (laughs) (laughs) They're all the same. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out the stream. Can I, like, do a perception check to see, uh, if that one kid is in the back? Uh, the back of where? The one that we They said, yeah, they said there's supposed to be, like, a kid just sitting in the back. You you have to remember, this is a very, this is, like I said, essentially a gigantic mansion, so. Oh, that's right, that's right. There's many areas, many rooms, a bunch of different kids. I'm going to search around. Uh, Excuse me, where where are you going? The little old lady. Bye, and I just keep walking. (laughs) But I, you, uh, okay. Don't worry, he's also got issues. I, um. We're just gonna go talk to him. We'll be right back. I Says think. the slime thing. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. Just can. He's not gonna eat them, is he? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> you. You hear? I only like honey. <laughs> he doesn't like honey. He's a panda. 
but oh, we'll god. just we'll just run with it. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I only like soy sauce. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, okay. He's a, an incredibly racist bear, but he's he's a he's a panda. Okay. He's bamboo. He doesn't like to admit it. That's his diet, apparently. Oh my god. That I am. S Please tell me you get saw Vortex seal of approval from Kinkachu. Uh huh. That's beautiful. What? Kinkachu. Kinkachu seal of approval. Yeah. That is awesome. Vortex is the Vortex. greatest person, period. Um, okay, so. Vortex is just the best person, like, ever. He really is. So. So she kind of says, uh, okay, I, um,. I'm gonna go make my rounds. Uh, I just see how the kids are doing. Uh, okay, okay, we we'll, 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 won't take much much time here. Please don't destroy anything. We'll be out as soon as we get the information we need. Oh, okay, okay. And she kind of she kind of just uh, scurries off and play, uh, messes with some things in her desk. She you can hear a few little clinking and clanking, and then she kind of walks through the area and just walks on down the hallway and starts talking to all the kids and just does her rounds. Session one summary incoming. Thank you, Amnesic. But yeah, so she's so. What is it you guys doing? Where are you going? Et cetera, et cetera. Oh, all right. Gonna well, first, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make make way towards the kids, but I'm gonna like make sure the bag doesn't fall off of Caden's head. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you're walking I'll... through the you're walking through the orphanage. You walk through this. Uh, this this uh, good size archway, and then you come to this very very large room. Something uh, almost seems a little bit too large to fit in this building. And there's it's just a gigantic playroom slash cafeteria. There's a bunch of kids just playing around, eating, having a good time, doing their thing. What? What's that? Oh, okay. Uh, have have they followed me or? I don't know. No one said anything. I'm just like I immediately started walking and. I'm trying yeah. to figure out where to go. Yeah. Should I do a per <laughs> day? <laughs> Should I? Katie fell asleep. Katie, Katie. <laughs> she tries to hold up Katie as she realizes that he's trying to lean because he fell asleep. No, no, stay. <laughs> Splat. Oh <my> Realizing she can't hold him up for very long, she gets crushed by Katie. Well, I mean, you are a slime. You just kind of like I know. I just reform, but yeah. it's still a mess. <laughs> oh God! Okay, uh, that everywhere. <laughs> as that happens, a few of the kids get scurry away, They're, like freaked out, and a few more kind of like laugh at a giggle and a point, and then having fun. I a think I'm going to Adderall from one of the kids. <laughs> play. They want me to play a musical tune to entertain the kids. Are oh, you hold on, Bard. Bardy. Yeah, remember he needs a he's the magical. No, I don't have, I'm not a bard. bard anymore. Oh, you're not uh, a bard anymore. That's right. That's mm. good. That was last time. Wait. Oh, oh, perfect idea. I'm gonna cast minor summoning, and I'm going to summon a little Tweety Bird that just starts chirping a song. It just starts singing a song. Okay. Uh, it just starts. Yeah. I don't I, know how to I do it, but guess so. I thought I saw a retard orc. Okay. I um, thought I thought a booty dad. You know that's that's a good. Oh, wait, wait. I just realized. What's Hen doing? I don't know. What is Hen doing? I don't know either. You haven't really said anything. Yeah. Are you just kind of standing in the uh, entrance way? Are you just standing outside? Oh no! I said to pin her down. Remember? Why would you pin an old lady down? Because she was suspicious. <laughs> Says the Minotaur. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> Why you gotta bring race into this? Oh god. You know, I'm real I'm realizing something again about our party. We don't yeah. have anybody that could just do general human interaction. Yeah, you uh, have no actually, humans. A slime I mean, technically human I have, clothes, morphs into a human. Slime is humanoid. I have sixteen charisma, so I mean I have, I have the most... 17 charisma. Yeah, so there you go. Hmm. Yeah, but I mean... Look. You're a, Geb's a bear, and <laughs> Halo is a slime girl, and... <laughs> and you're a decaying orc, and... Hen and I'm a, a decaying orc, minotaur. and Hen's a freaking minotaur, so hey, we don't have hey, anybody... We're more family friendly. Descriptions of us? Geb, panda necromancer, support. Day, half-orc, undead, death knight. Hen... Cow person, berserker child. 
<laughs> god damn it. And Halo Slime Girl Gunslinger. Oh god. Okay. Um, well, I, could somebody add the character Berserker to that to me? <laughs> You're a bear. Oh yeah, and, add, add, and like meet that, make that neater and then make it as a command. Ugh. Like, uh, yeah. command characters. Uh, okay, so as you guys are sitting there doing whatever it is that you're doing, um, you hear... Well, I'm currently squ squashed by Caden, who's asleep. Okay. Well, you could reform, though, right? I know, I have to re- I just, I'm just gonna do it after whatever Geb does next. Oh, okay. I'm just sniffing around trying to find, uh, anybody who's looking good. You just, okay. you just see a, you just see a bear walk around. <laughs> Remember, you do have investigation skills and things like that. I don't know if I'm proficient in any of it. Let me check. I mean, you can, just because you're not proficient yes. doesn't mean you can't. Oh, that's true. Oh, plus five to investigation. So yeah. Yeah, I mean that's up to you. I for, I for, I always forget investigation as a thing. Yeah, you guys have a lot of skills at your disposal. Uh, twenty one. Damn, is that with your? That's with your mod. Plus six for investigation. Damn. Okay. Like um, I said, I have no strength, dexterity, or constitution, but it's oh, all wisdom, charisma, right. and intelligence. That's right. You're a mage, more or less. Uh, Even though I'm a giant bear. You're a giant bear mage. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, you as you're you're you, looking Veronica. around, you're looking around, and you can see that there are a few kids, kind of there. There are a few kids, kind of like playing in one of the back corners. It's a circle, so no corners, but more or less in one of the back areas. Uh, there are a few kids that are kind of sitting back there, but shying away from this like general radius of a place mm -hmm. in the back corner. And you can see that there's a small child kind of sitting there by himself. He's kind of like just playing with blocks and toys. But there is like there is a visible area of kids just actively avoiding this kid. Kids I'm other, than, to other than that, you can uh, you can see that there is currently a slime girl underneath the Death Knight. There is large bookcases <laughs> covering the shelves with kids playing on them and whatnot. There's uh, like I said, there's a cafeteria lady or there's a cafeteria lady. There's a cafeteria area where a bunch of kids are just trying to eat food and whatnot. The old woman that was initially tending it is playing with one of the uh, little, little kids in one of the corners, just kind of playing, having fun, laughing with the kid. And you can see that the gnome that was in the Tower of Fine Theater is also kind of sitting at the doorway. I think I'm going to go to that one lonely kid. Okay. I'm just going to go up to him and then be like, hey, buddy. Okay. As you're... As you're walking up to them, and you got... They, by the way, before you do, this is like... I'm just like... <laughs> like that. It's well, like a big cuddly bear. Okay, well, the kid is the kid is facing oh, away from you. This so. is a big... Wait, what? wait can, I, can I roll a cuteness check? Well, no, get persuasion. A big persuasion. Oh, it's a cuteness check. It's a persuasion check. No, it's a check. persuasion <laughs> check. I, I'm even calling on that one. That's a persuasion check. Did oh, you then that's, fail? That six, seven, eight, and so nine. 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 Okay. Uh, well, there's this. The kid's kind of like I said. The kid has his back to you, and he's just playing with his toys, kind of just mumbling something. And um, as you you walk up, right about that area that you that all the kids are avoiding, you can <sighs> just you can feel almost like a like a coldness in the air. You can feel that there's there's like this. Not not really like aura, but like there's there there's something definitely different that you can tell. The kids okay, I'm gonna immediately I'm gonna do an Arcana check. Okay. Uh. So that is a some uh seventeen. A seventeen. Okay. So, um, as you're walking up to this kid and you're about to you're about to talk to him, you can. The blocks that he's playing with, you can just slightly tell that there is some shimmering on his hand. It looks almost like he has, it almost looks like he has a very, very thin layer of ice covering his body. See you, Kyle. Can I do, I think I will cast Detect Magic. If you would like to. Uh, and I gotta find it because I really need... I thought that, you put this uh, on your spell cards or, and everything. The spell cards are only for druid. Detect magic is not druid, it's wizard. Mm. Later, Carl. See you around. Um, I can sense magic within 30 feet of me. I see a faint aura around anything. I learned in school of magic and... Oh. Yeah. 
So I learned the school of magic. So wait, can you only detect one school? Is that what you're saying? Or it, any you magic detect thirty what? feet around me and okay. goes through the stone by a foot, lead three feet of dirt, etc. Okay, it so it's just a straight like of bubble of yeah, detect. and it gives me what school of magic. Oh, it tells you what school of magic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I keep getting these confused with Skyrim schools of magic. Because um, the schools of magic in this are certain things, but from a different name. So hold on, I gotta, I gotta remember. Um, where is, where is, where is? Okay, I thought so. Okay, so as you're, as you're walking up to this kid, and like I said, you feel like this just cold aura, and you notice everything. You notice that this kid, um, you can, va you can just barely see this faint shimmering and you can tell that it is necromantic magic that's kind uh, of that's not exactly circling around this kid but it's it's somewhat close to him you can you can tell that this kid has something to do with some type of necromantic magic is it kind of like how day looks <laughs> is that what he looks like when he turns around and looks at me <laughs> yes no uh, <laughs> I would cry. Uh, he turns around and I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Uh, you missed it. Okay. Uh, you missed beauty. Um, I mean, is it too, is it higher level? I mean, with the Arcana check, is it higher level than I am as a necromancer? Uh, like, is it like? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to still talk to her. Okay. As you're walking up to talk to him, the the gnome uh, that was the gnome that was uh, in the tower with you guys, he kind of walks up and he's, "Hey, what, what you doing? Hey, I, f I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Chris." And he kind of like is like, "Hey, hey, what's what's going on, man?" That the gnome is talking to me. Is yeah. that what you said? Yeah. Bro, bro, step off. I'm in the middle Wait, of something. No. Hey. Oh. Step off. Garden gnome? I'm trying to do something. What kind of gnome is this? Is it a garden gnome or like a... No, the, the gnome that was in the tower with you guys when you guys left uh, Bregrove. Oh. Yeah. The finder's helper. Mm -hmm. What hey, is I, this? Oh, don't need to be inhospitable. I was just, I was just saying. There, I just look at him and I'm like, there's necromantic magic going on. I need to see what's going on with this kid. You might want to take a step back. Well, yeah. I don't know I could, if... I could see that plain as day. I don't I know mean, if the zombie god is about to spring forth from this kid's mouth. I could... Yeah, I mean... Shit's anyone, about to get weird. Anyone can notice this. There's a literal bubble of, like, kids aren't avo are avoiding. <laughs> okay. I, I go and sit down by this kid, and I just talk to him. I'm like, hey, buddy. You can... How's your day going so far? He doesn't he doesn't even notice that you're sitting there. I, I go up to him and I go, the pedophile. <laughs> I go, poke. Oh, you you touch him? Yeah, I, I go poke. Okay. Uh, you touch the kid? What? Yeah, I touch the kid. <laughs> okay. Why? Uh, he, he instantly he instantly shies away and like bounce moves back about another five feet. And as what you um hell? on your finger as... that huh? Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna say. I was going to cast uh, animate hand. Oh wait, there's no hand. The oh god, I'm uh, shit. There's no hand near me. I was gonna try and do some kind of like necromancy thing to show that I'm a necromancer. Um. Why? But I don't. I don't have any spells. Never mind. Okay. What well, no, just s slowly touch the child's cheek with the back of your hand? Yeah, that's not that's not gonna have the uh, the fantasy popo on me. There is no <laughs> fantasy popo. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, good. So you can okay. touch all the children you want. A animate Caden's hand, Cadian's hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, is Caden dead? <laughs> no. Did he die again? No, Caden's an <laughs> undead. So. <laughs> what? Well, can, can undead die again? Is that, I guess. Is so? Banished? I don't know. Day, day is uh, day is showing what's going on with uh, Gavin. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Oh, God. Okay, so why do you have a minion? 
<laughs> wasn't it a, is that a loss for words? Wasn't it a loot crate? No. Oh. Um, Your kids? We get my kid. A, we get my kid a build a bear every year for Christmas, and one year he got himself a minion, and he looked at me and said, "You need one too." <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go then. <laughs> All right, well, there's my answer. Okay, so uh, yeah, as you as you initially like uh, touch the kid with your finger, like, does it say things? <laughs> That's, awesome. That's amazing. Oh man. Okay, That's so. so <laughs> okay, back to the game. <laughs> so well, that's you, one way to annoy people. So as you sit there, yeah, uh, stream catch is right about that. You can feel that, like the kid is ice cold, like straight ice cold, dead to the touch, uh, when you touched him right before you ran away, real quick. Ooh. Well, I'm, I guess uh, I'm gonna go back to uh, my party uh, of idiots yeah. and uh, and just let them know what's uh, what's up. Oh God. Bad, um, bad, bad people. Things are getting weird, bros. <laughs> Things got weird a long time ago. Yes, that's the truth. <laughs> well, uh, Gumi's gonna Gumi's gonna reform herself because like I, I wanted to do that, but like the, Oh my god, PK, like, yeah, just keep going. Yeah, you see now you see what PK said. Yeah, that's a little weird. Let's <laughs> let's cut it with the pedophile jokes. God damn it, <laughs> PK. Uh. <laughs> What's up, people? All right. It's weird, Uncle Bear. Yeah. No. Okay. So. Oh God, no, no, no yeah, more. No, no amnesic. No. All. Bad amnesic. <laughs> okay, so I I I tell them, relate to them, what's happening, and I go, "What the hell do we do?" Uh, no, we need him. Just time him out for five for <laughs> like thirty seconds. That that's uh that's five minutes, but okay. Yeah, I know I timed it, or I purged him again. Well, someone has to unban him first. Oh, I did. <laughs> no, we only timed him out after he was banned. No, I <laughs> banned him and then unbanned him. Oh, okay. Just okay. Him and then... Yeah, he's fuck. Yeah, he's he's pretty helpful most of the time. Uh, yeah, just um, okay. So, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Well, I relate to them what's going on. Now I'm like, what the heck should we do? I don't know. That's what I'm, that's what I'm asking them. What the heck should we do? <laughs> I deserved it. It's all right. <laughs> um, okay, well, I guess... Six. Well, since Geb's trying to talk to this uh, cold child, apparently, uh, Gumi's gonna use uh, Detect Magic spell go for it uh what do i need to do that i already I, on the kid i already did that no not on the kid on just the room in general that's what i did it does a 30 feet radius oh 30 feet radius yeah this is oh, okay this is a very very large like you know conference hall type room so oh that's true okay. yeah that's that's up to you if you if you want to i mean if it's already been done it'd be kind of worthless to do it again Kind of, yeah. But, um, um, okay, so as you're sitting there uh, and you guys are talking, the gnome walks up and he's like, Ah, look, uh, the kids have been saying quite a few different things about, uh, you know, old Uncle Fester over there, and I think that you probably should, like, just... Here's, here's a hint, man. Uh, head out, and when it gets night... Come on back and take a look in the uh, in the field, and you might see something. What? Use okay. day to determine what is keeping the child alive. Well, day's not a necromancer. Ban no he's just again. undead. <laughs> it it, it ban it like... again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What? He's what like happened? he's like look, just um, y you guys are kind of bad at being investigators, so uh. <laughs> Look, just the kids were saying something about something happening late at night. Okay. Out in the field. Oh, okay. Let's, Why didn't let's, you say so? Let's all sit in the field and let's just meditate and think about so, life yeah. and love. Yeah. You'd like yeah. to? I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on my forging skills because I haven't yeah. done that yet. You do yeah. that? That's really what? suspicious. 
I'm going to go Harry, to the Harry tavern. Hated. He fell asleep. You might want to... I might... just grabbed him by the back of the neck and I carry him. Bird, 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 bird. <laughs> you may, you may want to... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go to the tavern. I'll, I'll be there if you need me. Then it kind of goes off. Children, watch me forage. Gooby grabs gonna... the clothes that were stuck underneath Caden, puts them back on, I, and I'm then heads outside. To, I, I'm going to literally meditate. Because that's what... You literally uh, meditate. Oh, no, no, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my forge right next to Geb, right after he starts meditating, and forge right next to him. But you're okay. putting it in the middle of an orphanage. Think about that real quick. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, Think about I'm that like real quick. Right outside the orphanage. Oh, uh, right outside the orphanage. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put it right soon after still, during the fire. Occasion. Here's Why playing, playing, playing. What? I meant Uncle Fester as in there's a there's a cold, like, necromantic child. Not that there's a kid touching other kids. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Whatever, whatever you guys do. Yeah. Gab's going to meditate to the noise. She's had playing. enough of this shit for one day. Okay. I, you know, it's getting to be about 10 p.m. And we, we've been going for over two hours. I think it's wearing on people. You know, yeah. I th I think this is they, where we're going to stop. Caden's been asleep for like 10, 15 minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll come back. Oh shit! We've been dreaming yeah. for two and a half hours. Next time, yeah, we've been see what uh, half hours, yeah. beautiful things come out of this uh, hellhole. Yeah we'll, yeah, we'll see if this town turns into Silent Hill or something like that. <laughs> oh my god! I, don't... <laughs> I did. I did. I, when I did re redo my class, I now have a fog spell. That's cool. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh, that was a nice meditation. Oh Jesus, no! Can we just hear the siren? No. Silent Hill. Yeah, but um, all right. So guys, it's terrifying. Thanks, thanks, thanks for uh, all you guys who stayed from uh, what was it, John Sandman stream? Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty dope. We still have 117. Jesus, I will, I will give a shout out to that man if I can find him on Twitter or person or people, whoever they are. That is. It's we legit had 400 yeah. people at one point. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you also gained like 100, 100 followers or so. Really? Jesus. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's at 2935, oh. and it was at 2911 before. Oh, wow. I'm Damn. Sure. Well, I mean, either way, I mean, thanks for thanks for you guys chilling and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, we're almost at 3K. That three K followers, come on, let's Heck do this. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, guys, for anyone who's still straight, uh, yeah, every Thursday night, and it's gonna be usually between seven and eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time when it starts up. So. So yep. Yeah, fractured is fractured worth uh, worlds his E and D session. I guess so. Hey, it it sounds like that sounds like a name of a D and D thing. Uh, Seems like it. John Sandman TV. Uh, yeah, I subscribed to him. Oh, well, thank you. That's that's cool. I Yeah, I didn't know who this was, but all right. Yeah, so, uh, Fractured Worlds, that's their thing, apparently. Cool. Okay. Oh. Cool. I am, I am surprised by everything, Jacob. It is Brad Wotos, Brad Wotos campaign, Wotos but John Sandman and friends are playing through. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by, well, thank then. You. Yeah, thanks for chilling. Um, like yeah. I said, this will be weekly, and on the on my YouTube channel, this there will be the uh, VOD of this probably tomorrow, if I can get it up. With that swoog thumbnail. Mm-hmm. Dude, that freaking picture is so awesome, Vortex. Thank you. <laughs> that is, though. All right, but anyways, um, thank you, guys, and we will see you in the next stream. Yeah, bye. 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 bye.